did a great job. She did a beautiful job on it. Who rebuilds them? It's got the old axle on it. Well, whoever rebuilt it here today is like one of the, one of the tractor Steve has that. But they went from cast to a steel axle, did they? I wish it was opened up to see the controllers in it, but I don't, I'm not going to ask them to open it up yeah. just so we can. I know he redid all that. Yeah, I think he put in uh, the newer controller. It's got the applied motors. You the guy that built them? I built a couple of these things. Greg Krauts. Hi, Greg. Mike DeTragway. Hello, Michael. <coughs> yeah. You work for GE? I used to. Used to. What's your last name, Greg? Krauts. C-R-O-U-N-S-C. -E. Yeah, I was the, uh, I did two jobs for them. I did production and door control and supervision and supervisor when I went to sales. They're the best of both worlds. Oh. It's, a, it's a good one. He's the winner. Good. Does anyone have an active uh, listing of past employees? Steve. Mike. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, he does. No, he would be George Becker. He's not. He worked at GE, right? How you doing, Steve? Greg Kraus, how do you do, oh, Steve? Greg. Yeah. How do you do? So you worked at GE, did you? Yes, we did. Good for you. It was good years. Yep. You worked at GE or you worked at GE in the outdoor, outdoor power? Outdoor power. Very and, good. And GE afterwards. Uh-huh. They want to see the controls in this, Steve. What controls? The rebuilt ones. Well, uh, I mean, everything's under the panel. I'm not going to pull that out. I still not ask. Yeah. Yeah. This is my little joke. Yeah, yeah, but everybody's on. Uh, oh, they're looking at the back. Look yeah, 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 yeah. We put yeah, it down yeah. there. Okay. You did a fine um, job then. Well, I didn't do it. <laughs> oh. I only did, I did the deck, wheels and tires, rims, uh, seat, seat. A battery cover, but Brian, the guy that's back at uh, the barn over here, mm -hmm. he did. He put the new side panels on, new battery box, put all in the charger, new controller, all new wires, as much as you needed to. Um, it was beyond me to do that. I'm more of a mechanical guy and wasn't ready for the, uh, the challenge, and so he took it on and uh, that's me. Beautiful result. That's yeah. For sure. yeah. Came out well. Yeah. Yeah. I'm loving it. I, I mow the lawn and I get out here with a big white paintbrush and I brush all the grass <laughs> off. <laughs> Keep it clean and perfect. Yeah, I'm trying to. For the parade circuit. Isn't you know? your wife a little upset with your parking in the bedroom though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, she's thrown it out the window more than once. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> How do you find the parts? Oh, it's easy. It's easy. Oh, yeah. It's been really easy to do that. It's a secret. I don't know if I'm ready to divulge it yet, but uh, I found more parts and tractors in the last six months. I just found out about these about seven months ago. That's it? Eight months ago. There must be a lot of them in this area, though. Oh, yeah. There's quite a few. It's oh, yeah. like all yeah. season has parts left over. Yeah, yeah, they probably do. Really? Yeah. 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 Just haven't thrown away yet, you know? Well, I'm just thinking Jim ought to stop there on his way home and. And there's a guy on, um, on, um... You gotta get some name tags, you guys, so we yeah. know. Our circle over here. Steve Short. Thank you for your first name. Oh, sure. Steve, great job. How do you do? Mike Felicia. Uh, Mike. Name tags over there, just flap them on your chest so we keep okay. track of who you guys are. I brought the books. I was going to lay them on one of your empty, empty, empty tables. Empty tables. Sure. Any you want? Just sure. Sure. Nice 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 I know Quint's nice standing nice in the sun. Yep, yep, yep. Did yep. you say you were XGE? Yes. You're Mike Petragley. 
Hey. You worked on a phone with a bunch of times? No, I didn't. Did you hear about the, the party? Did you, did you Alice, Alice, Alice Club gave me this. Sure. Alice Club gave me this. Good. Did you actually have to pay him now? Oh, it is? Oh, yeah. The actual reason I come is to hunt people down. I think a week. What's your website? Oh, at one point we had a This is the one I have, and then I added names. Mark and that was as a motor goes. I've got 220 names now. What, so, what model did you have? Those are people take a look at them and figure out if anybody out missing. Again or something? So, I don't know. Well, we, had, we, you know, at the yeah, time that we, the last last year of production, which was basically '74, uh, uh, before it sold to uh, 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 American uh, Motors, oh, uh, we were up to front. about 275. So, mm -hmm. uh, 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 yeah, that, that last year we put out 25,000 units. I just got one that's a problem. 25,000 total. Wisconsin. Last year, so there are a few more around. But unfortunately, I was telling George that one thing GE could not stand was big receipts. And I kept telling him, "Well, you go talk to John Deere or National Harvester. It's a way of life. You know, you build all winter, you floor plan it, and you sell all summer." Uh, they couldn't stand it. The, the last year, like 73, I had visits from 105 we had GE vice presidents. Uh, you want to know the I good news? The other 100 well, didn't show George. up. <laughs> did you ever uh, I did nothing but know about the the Rich Martin, uh, Dick Martinelli? Yes, I talked to Dick. Actually. I finally tracked him down. and Actually, we've talked twice in the last week. We talked just briefly, and then I gave him my website, and I thought he might have placed it. He has some grandchild thing going on today. But he said if he could all do, do it, he's going to try to stop by. Yeah, he's, he's, I see him quite a bit. Uh, we have like a quarter century club with the, the G. And uh, so I meet with him. And then I didn't really have And then they also have a, we have a Christmas party. Because of the receipt. like manufacturing and engineering. From, uh, from uh, turbine generator, you know. All the receivables. Yeah. We're only going to charge us. Yeah. 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 On Tuesdays, he cleans up uh, yeah. computers for nonprofits, and, yeah, they do and, and on yeah. Thursday, he's uh, he's uh, modifying toys <laughs> for handicapped kids. Yeah. So, yeah. so, yeah. so my life's really busy. <laughs> he's funny. He's a kid. Yeah, I'll be I'll be really helped. Is Mike Thompson uh, with him? Or? I think he came up. Kind of pretty old. I don't know. Maybe George. No, George has talked to all kinds of people more than I have. But uh, you got the the old, old old yeah, old Paul was great. Yeah, he was uh, great. I took him down as my marketing vice president, president yeah. of Pink Chemical. Yeah. Yeah. And then when uh, I left there to go to American Optical, uh, he started I do, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I walked off and he's retired from that. I'd love to get the head of the Polish Foundation. For the book. He's still working. He's in about 73 now. Yeah. I hope to God it never does that. But anyway, no. Now, Paul was with me for many, many years. He's the best guy I've ever had. I probably probably want to get a stand at some point in time. And, you know, just so we have a nice early, rather than a photo. Call me, I got it set up for you. got my phone I do remember. Yeah, I'll be in touch. What I'll do is my next. Carm Denadio. You could try with your computer. Yeah, yeah. That'd be great. Remember and her yeah. and or sure. next time I'm in town, I'll, I'll bring my scanner and we'll just do it at your house and nothing happens. Yeah. And then you can yeah. also yeah. give it to you so you can print out the copies if you want. So you can have as many as you want to. Oh, and that is a crap. Let me just see if I can do it. Let me just see if I can do it. Because they had a date up in the Adirondacks. She wants to come another time. She's come a long way. Disadvantage of living in a personal world. Website does. Well, as I said to my wife, they're all over again. They can be around here now. 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 They can be around here
Other ones in uh, good. Uh, uh, right now I'm nice to see a good looking one like uh, that again. Building. Uh, yeah. I'm probably gonna put, I don't know what Pristash is doing with the ones I gave him. But. Did you see that? I know a lot of them yeah, have moved along. David's still in Cleveland. Where is he? Dave Pristash in Cleveland? He's out in Cleveland. Outside Cleveland, yeah. Who else? I have to get my list. I probably have contacted about. Of the 220, said, maybe around 40, I found, oh, and yeah. several of those have passed okay. on. But I do have a list of phone numbers and contacts for the ones great. I have. Because I've been looking for Joe for years. Oh yeah, he's, he just is getting over. Uh, he had double uh, knee <laughs> knee replacement. I have to paint this. And uh, right. then he tells me, you know, my grandkids are here so uh, taking care of me. I don't, uh, okay, so it's going to take twice as long to recover. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't see Palmasano in here, is he? Wait a minute. No, he wasn't in there. No, he, no, wasn't, he wasn't in, in there. That one. Yeah. I don't know why, so, but so George was said he's passed on now. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. George That's Davis. Great. Uh, I was surprised you said Bruce Hamilton. Bruce, Bruce? Bruce Hamilton. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. I didn't know. Um, Who was, I could try to remember the name of the guy that was manufacturing engineering manager. I can't remember. Carl oh, Weatherby. Carl, oh, yeah, okay, good. Have you, have you got a hold of him? I have to look him on this. I, I don't think so. I know, I know the name. I know what's yeah. on the list. I can see his face sure. perfectly. I couldn't remember his name. You know, a lot of people I've left messages for, and yeah. I haven't heard back. And yeah. It's summertime. People travel, wow. more, you know. Wow. You remember the softball teams that you Oh, yeah. Do I ever. How about the time that, 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 that I got... I was playing second base, oh, I remember and, the, that. and somebody I, said the, that he's cut. he's sliding, and he came in straight up and broke two ribs, oh. my ribs. I oh. went to the emergency room, and after three hours, I got up and went home. The doctor called me, why'd you go home? I said, I can die at home better than I can in the emergency room. <laughs> and every time I coughed, it killed me for about two yeah, months afterwards. a lot of guys there on that softball team, yeah. man, because they... You had the marketing, you had it on the floor, yeah, yeah. and the guys yeah. in the manufacturing. I have got some of your internal must... newsletters. I don't know if you've read some of those on my website, but I, I love it when they talk about those softball games, about, you know, well, the bad lads are you know, <laughs> laying low for the Crusaders, <laughs> whatever. You know, we had it, uh... You know, you were I must have been working all the time. No, probably. you were worried. You were the captain of our team. <laughs> what are you kidding me? Didn't have time to play. I was working. Yeah. Oh God! That was part of the <laughs> the setup there. You couldn't oh, work, yeah. right? Do you remember my weekly pizza parties? Oh yeah, yeah. 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 that was one of the fact that the only guy I ever fired was Ralph Bankston, who was a human resources guy, because all he loved to do was have grievance meetings. I said, God damn it, Ralph, we don't need any grievances. Remember Ralph? I remember him. Ralph oh, yeah. just guys. Oh, really? Oh, did he? I believe he did. He had to be in his 90s by now. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was, yeah. But what I did was I gave Palmasano manufacturing responsibility and Don White, finance manager, salary responsibility. Never had another grievance. Not one. <laughs> Interesting lesson. <laughs> Got to watch out for professional human resources people. <laughs> they, they, they love grievance meetings and stuff. Why do you need a grievance meeting? Yeah. We can solve the grievances on the floor. Well, you, you know, know, another guy was in marketing at the Sherm Bowman. Remember oh, sure. Him? I remember Sherm Bowman. Yeah. 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 He's, I, I don't know if he's still in the area. He was from Gloversville. That's why. Yeah, well, Chuck Gruber's died, unfortunately. He made it yeah. to 85. He yeah. even lived out here in Sloansville for years. Oh, did he? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you know, Chick was one of my favorites. He worked with me on the original electric car work and everything. everything yeah, he did a lot of that. Yeah. Yeah. Don Moklin died. I've got this huge oh. pile of Don Moklin? <laughs> yeah, that's Ralph what he said. Uh, yeah. Ralph died. Oh, boy. So, huh. uh, Where was you know, Don Moklin? Wiring uh, Where was he living? The uh, only time I remember, <laughs> no, I think he stayed with Gene. He was living on Mohawk oh, Avenue in Moklin. Scotia. Don, 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 Don I've lost track of Don White as a finance manager. I don't know. I, I, he, he moved out west somewhere. I lost track of him. Who was that now? Don White, a finance oh, manager. Yeah. Uh, and uh, but I. Uh, it's, it's, that was a. Yeah, maybe with them. Mohawk Evans. One of the great stories. Most of you, most of you probably don't know about was. When they finally decided to assign us to the transportation division, and Bryce Wyman was the vice president, and Bryce came and I showed him around the plant, 
comes up to my office and he shuts the door. He says, where the hell did all this come from? He says, there's not a single signed appropriation. <laughs> I said, you did that without any appropriations? <laughs> well, Thomas Arnold was the one that informed me about this. There was a rule in GE. Any equipment not used for the last six months, you could claim for 10% and no appropriation. We built that whole plant out of, uh, out of, of GE Schenectady. And I never had a single signed appropriation. <laughs> and Lyman says, yeah, no, all your work for me, don't do that again. I thought, oh, hell. <laughs> it's not going to be as much fun. That's why we're able to do everything that we did, because, you know, we didn't have to go through all the bureaucracy to do it. It's uh, called being thrifty. Yeah. yeah. It really was, but I mean that whole machine tool shop, everything came out of the main plant. Yeah. You know, it, was, uh, it just put ten percent of the depreciated value on the books. Didn't need any signatures. Wow. <laughs> of course, another one of the great stories on whole member. Uh, you remember the, the Delta electric car, the first experimental car I built. I got a scrapbook of some of the pictures. One Halloween night, 1968. My wife's got 20 kids all over the house. Phone rings. It's Art Bika, research vice president. He, he said, the chairman, Gerard Philippi, has got Governor Rockefeller here, and he wants to give him a ride in the electric car. And I said, oh, God. I said, we just took the brake system out yesterday. <laughs> and uh, we'll see what you can do. So I called Chuck Gruber. <laughs> we set up at the Schenectady Airport. We set up a course with little red flags all around it. The car had no brakes. I took Ron and out of it. And each time I'd see a flag, I'd pull on the emergency brake quietly. You know, let it off, go some more, go some more. Came back and pull up in front of, of Bika and the chairman and Rockefeller is in the car. And, and I start talking louder so you can't hear me pulling up the brake. So Rockefeller takes off in his private jet. I had pictures of a lot of that. And uh, Bika said, boy, you got that brake system back in in a big hurry. I looked at him and said, that car has no brakes. <laughs> and the expression, I could see, I could see the Albany Times Union, Governor killed in GE electric car. <laughs> Do you remember the time when the kid went through the window? Oh my God. And then yeah. we had to uh, oh. go and put diode no. uh, Yeah, Jesus. We went, they, they knocked off production. Yeah. And yeah. For about a week. Yeah. Some of these guys got some good jobs. They went way out to the West Coast. I know. Yeah, I know. What happened yeah. there? Well, they had a feedback. So they had to put a diode in one of the lines. Oh, kid, Bruce, kid was playing with it on the window in the, the showroom, heart, uh, and everything was off. Oh yeah, yeah. Hey, he was he 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 the showroom is? window. Yeah, right. Oh so my! Oh, so is then he they knocked off production for just a short time. Oh, did you? Yeah. And we had to go. Yeah, I remember Ray. Yeah. Uh, what type of company? Glenn. Then I wonder where you get them uh, chargers. You know, he was uh, some kind of a company that was uh, yeah, there's a lot making something. I don't know. He became the president of the company. Yeah. Oh, good. Ray did. Now, if yeah. you had a sign with all the I like the old school ones. Well, I see him at least every five years, uh -huh. sometimes in between. I oh, join them wooden bottoms, they get wet and sure His wife no was in the yeah. class behind me. The okay. in, in fact, we played the past pretty rotted out by now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, if, yeah. They, I know they shorted out. They, short okay. uh, they, uh, they had trouble with them. They did that plastic bottom. I think they, had, they either had a service bullet or something on changing those to the fiberglass ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they changed those over. Uh, I never had any trouble with charging. That's right. In fact, I... Well, after I, I went to Baker Chemical, and I ran the company for about five, almost five years. And the chairman said he was going to make me CEO after three. All he did was ski and play golf. And finally, I said, "There's no future here. I'm never going to be CEO." So I went up to American Optical. I had a turnaround contract. They were losing four million a year. The kid knocked it out of here. First month there, I had to lay off 1,800 people. Couldn't get it back in here again. So he had to light it out. Like that. That. They were doing about 40 miles an hour. Because they were still making glass lenses and nobody wanted glass yeah, lenses couldn't, anymore. couldn't get it back in here. Yeah, that's that's like a car, you know, with the weight of these things going 40. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the thousand pounds and plus in there. Yeah. And uh, so I went back to New Jersey again and uh, ran a plastic sheeting company up in Oakland. 
triple the profit, and then they sold that. Did you, uh, did Funny, you I said, that's it. I'm going to Vermont. The hell no, I'm just a collector. Oh, okay. So I've been up in Pennsylvania for 32 years. They had a few miles that they made for them. Sears Roebuck. But it was interesting to get over and see that. That whole scheme. Now the New Deal ones they had. They changed their grill ways. They had something. But you know, I rented that building for 50 cents a square foot. GE controlled the price. Didn't need appropriation for that either. Okay. That's right. I don't know. Is that the former Bevpack? Yeah. Yeah. Cause he was it. Jim Carvulo was that that guy? That guy there? Originally was uh, Angelo. Man, Angelo. Um, that little spot, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I remember I rented it from him actually. Yeah. And, uh, he he was half the building. We used the other half. Yeah. You sold that place for fifteen million dollars. If you don't do it right, is that right? Good for him. Now it's the PB6. Box there. Wheel horse. Well, America. I knew you were going to do that sooner or later. They pulled it all around the tires and squealing. It was just like the video. Oh man, no problem. We're going to have to reenact that next time I'm over. Got to take the video. Oh yeah. You don't have a scanner with you. He asked me about it because he's got a bunch of stuff. I told him I'd do that. Even for somebody else, I don't think. So watch out for Milt Romney. He's George's son. Yeah, right. Electronic controller. Yeah, that's Milt Romney. If you move it. Changes oh, he was a good so business man. Up and down he was one of the originators yeah. of staple yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so <laughs> if, if you're trying to go slow and it's bumpy, all of a sudden My high school go, best friend <laughs> sold his company and to Staples. Uh, he had all the office supplies out of the southern tier of New York. And uh, of course he got me into Staples stock at the right time. You put it to a speed. You did pretty well. Well, the Curtis controller you can actually program to. And you got rid of your GE stock. I took it when I left. I said, I'm cashing in right now. Thank you. That was a good time. <laughs> I've done better with a lot of other things. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Unfortunately, my, my great business for the last, well, for 25 years was a photo finishing business. I built five companies all over New England, all Vermont Color, the name of it. And but digital has absolutely destroyed it. No, nobody prints anything anymore. All they do is look at each other and email it back and forth. It's a shame, it was a great business. Who's in the back? Uh, uh, but I'll uh, get as much yes. electricity um, inside of like a... Uh, oh, absolutely. Okay. Well, I, I had to go and get the, the model to show you. You set the uh, controller type, the, uh, the controller type to wigwag, which means that uh, you have a zero yeah. spot and then you have a forward wig wag. Why is that such a good idea? Because... Not right now, no. They couldn't repair it. Yeah, when so they were stripped the of whole, they strip a new one. And uh, <laughs> they, they didn't like that. Yeah. Oh no. Just, once you do that, you set it That H&H uh, over okay, under 30, the, uh, that's zero what zero they'd do. They couldn't fix it, so they just take a part off and do it over. Oh my goodness. And that was probably a floor pan, floor plan tractor at that. Yeah, yeah. They didn't own it. It was a floor plan. You know, you get one of these things and you get something that's intermittent. You say that that's the top. You say that that's the bottom. And then you set the, uh, you can who's got the camera he was the behind all of it just give one of those get tight on can we move my fingers? No, not, not the t-shirt, the guy in the short sleeve button down is yeah. first. Oh, uh, oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's George. He walked right by me. Him, I ran into this. Plastic I can't yes. remember his name, but I ran into him down the main plant later on. And there's Steve Patronus. He did one like that. Do you know Steve? Do you remember him? From them, I haven't seen Steve from beyond the electric. Uh, yeah, he went on, he's in uh, business, I'm in, uh, uh, what was the other guy's name, you know, they got a big, they do stuff, they're like Greenos, they do all kinds of manufacturing, he still is as far as I know. This guy was on program. And and I can see probably see wire, uh, oh, wire, yeah. Jensen. Yes, there you go. There you go.
There's no Remember dust. Yeah. 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 I'm not putting electronic control. Yeah. The thing is beautiful. Yeah. It's a Mustang yeah. building. Yeah. I've got a 64. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta understand. Yeah, this no one's, one's happy. happy. No one's happy. <laughs> no, no. I, you just didn't mention that the last time. I'm, I, I'm put on the way. I'm sorry. Which is your name? Lucky Locks. Yeah, Lucky Locks. Right. That's it. I wow. think so I know so Bruce Wood. You Lucky Locks? No. Oh, I tried to get him to come over, but he's uh, he's pretty. Uh, Where's he living? Mayfield now? Oh, no, he sold his house. And he's on the flood and he comes up here for the summer. As a matter of fact, he's a pace car, pace car driver for. Uh, Ridge, Ridge yeah, Road someone had there, taken it off. He oh, okay. together. Yeah. He married. Uh, and then flip the switch on. He, he oh, boy. Oh, oh. Yeah. It went. My guy's going to walk around a little so bit. So it's okay. all melted. I'm guessing that it burned out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 33 years. Huh? Yeah, you're looking for more. <laughs> more of them when you find Voltage isn't usually the issue, though. It's more of the current that gets you. Yeah, that comes along with it. Well, I do yeah, know the from, power. I do know from working on military on. trucks is that everybody figures 12 volts is a zap to the wrench. We've all done it. You know, that's ah, a stupid dummy. Like, you do it with 24 on an army truck. Holy cow. <laughs> I get can't imagine attention. 36. Man, it's not voltage that goes against the amperage. Yeah. Doesn't mean it doesn't hurt. Well, or, if you lick your fingers, or burn. <laughs> <laughs> holds your or burn. Yeah. Here, got a lane bolt. Test it. <laughs> the, uh, you know, it's interesting. They use the basically a mower motor, right, on a forklift to power the hydraulic unit. And I've been doing some just kind of off the cup type calculations. It wouldn't be that expensive, I don't think, to put together if you had a spare mower motor and a uh, surplus center has these really cheap. Um, hydraulic pumps. Right. You could put a system together if you really wanted a slick lift. That was, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Still driving here? I had the same thing. You know, like, Did they try to send you over the bridge? I'm yes. like, yes. yeah. yeah. I'm, I got <laughs> over the bridge and I'm like, it's, uh, Steve told us later that you can't even walk over it anymore. It's, you know, it's that bad of a bridge. I had to, uh, yeah. I was loading something in the back of my truck and it's going, turn left. Yeah. Recalculating. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, most of my route was scenic, so it's like, data connection lost. <laughs> oh. The, uh, the GPS that I have in the truck allows you to put in different... Uh, files like that also. Yeah. And um, one of them is the South Park. Believe me, this is uh, the only thing going on in this town today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's alright. On the chainsaw, that one fellow there, he did uh, that thing? conversion to the steel bar. Yeah. yeah. I was looking at mine. I think I'm going to do a similar thing, but steel makes a bar that's uh, in chain that's a little narrower curve. Mm -hmm. They use it on their smaller saws. It uses a lot less power. I'm thinking about doing that to my saw. I picked up a uh, 110 volt in uh, Dolmar. It's like it. That sucker's pretty sweet, but <coughs> I figure I'll pick up an inverter at some point. I don't like uh, I don't like quarter pitch. Oh, it's hard to find. It's hard to find, and in, in the way I figure, they did away with it for a reason. Yeah. So is GE going to start making these things again now they got a uh, better battery technology? No, yeah, they're too busy making turbines. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to get a couple of the engineering samples of the, the molten sodium. They went away. <laughs> I tried. I really did. Yeah. But yeah, you don't want to you don't want to be walked with. Yeah. <laughs> no, next fireworks. Yeah, that's why I asked you. Why did you really take off? Because of uh, limited uh, power uh, availability of how long you can use them? No. No. They were kind of expensive and people didn't know how to fix them, so they're a little intimidated. And there were manufacturing issues uh, when they cleaned up, uh, when the customers would clean up the, uh, when the customers would clean up the, uh, uh, the decks and stuff, they would hose it off with water. You know, high pressure water around electricity is just a bad idea. Yeah, so, it is. Uh, they had manufacturing issues with the, uh, uh, with a card one. 
they went through like six different revisions of card one. They had issues with uh, the card fours. I mean, some guys have talked about them splitting now and uh, stuff like that. So quality control, stuff like that. Uh, the strike that happened kind of put the nail in the coffin. And you can't market a lawnmower or a lawn equipment like you would a refrigerator. No. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think I heard someone say that the some of the best dealers were Best Buy, rather than traditional lawnmower shops, in terms of sales and support. I know my Part C20 had a Best Buy sticker on the inside of it. Really? Yep. Yeah. Wow. Well, it's, it's well, the same thing with a lot of the, the implements. I mean, there's only a handful of companies that, that make this implement. You yeah. know, all this stuff. It's just who puts the sticker on it. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of Friendly. Friendly made great rototillers and the whole nine yards. Yeah. They just strapped the, uh, yeah. the uh, GE motor to it. Yeah, yeah. and Laban with the tiller and the yeah. snowblower. I think they made the blower too, right? Same blower, same thing. So a lot of the stuff if you really need one of the blower, you just find some old, you know, like Monkey Wars at ten years old or something. You get a motor and away you go. Just paint it. Yeah, this, I think but the sweet thing is it just stuff's old and. Pretty cheap now. Because some of the stuff like this that gets some of it's pretty cheap. You know, some of it's stuff pretty like this, you know, they, they get hard to come by. Yeah. You know, as, as far as the all the the small uh, power thing, or generator, whatever you want to call it, uh, inverter. Uh, yeah, inverter. I mean, it's, I know the military has the same thing on the back of their uh, small shelters. Yeah. The only thing it's set up for 24 volts. Right. The biggest issue I think today for current production is that nobody wants to outlay the initial capital for something that they're going to have for 30 years. They want a five year throwaway they can get from Home Depot for 1500 bucks, yeah. and then go get a new fancy shiny one in another five, six years. That's, that's yeah. kind of what it's come down to. And, uh, well, especially in this area, who's working? Yeah, well look at this stuff too. I mean, we got a whole table full of stuff, tractors all around. It's been they've been out working for forty years or more and most of them are still out there working. A lot of them are, at least. So the only reason a lot of the the electronics are like the I have another copy of that somewhere. I have a frame at least have it on my wall in the office. This is this February 7th. Going out. Giving away the secret to the show, Steve. Oh, you're leaving all that here. That's good. Hey, Larry, thanks, man. What do you think about it? I brought the pictures. If you put it on the table, it means it's safe. Yeah. You know, I thought it might be an There's the one that could be an Oh, it's a 12 M. That's cool. You know what it is? My camera's not focusing. Yeah, they're still there. Oh, it's hard. It's hard to get those. They don't sell electrics. I blew it up. Yeah, yeah. It's not up. It looks like it's circled all over the country. And then an empty space on the left, like But you know, see what I think is so neat about it? It's not an afterthought. They brought that X right out to the outside. Purposely said it wasn't X, and they were. Had a number or more off. Here's a great the tag is not in bad shape. Yep. Brand new the date, like you said, the month shows that it's running the uh, <laughs> like run of down. 50 m. <laughs> it's right in the middle of the run, so it's <laughs> almost certain. Got a few of these things around still, but to get into you though, though, I will find out. Like yeah, there is a fellow that did There's got to be some other I little oddity. Point this way, we actually put it on a real truck. Yeah. Well, we uh, it was running, we was sold run, a number of them to airports for pulling baggage cars. I bet, yeah. Eight, 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 Actually, for two, smaller yeah, planes, yeah, too, I bet it would have like, absolutely no problem. Uh, there's so many of these. After I took them for a ride in. But is there more information than there is? I don't see this much on the line. Did you ever tell him? Oh, oh no. Well, 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 I told We just yeah, we uh, read it. Yeah. I want to see that. Yeah, hey, you remember? Yeah. The, uh, yeah. the uh, yeah. chairman of the Philippines, yeah. Art Vita, the yeah. senior vice president of the Service, and that's Rockefeller. He was governor. And 
June, same day. Another shot over there, but the, uh, oh, and no, when I told them after we took off in his private jet, the the next and they said, uh, the hell did you get the French back in that? So that was so gorgeous. What about this one, though? This one, is, uh, you said it was really old. There's an I-5 right out in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wish I had a camera to take a picture of those two big shots. Their faces are oh, not okay. I thought he said it was I think you can visualize it all these times. So this guy is a prototype. The governor killed me. He killed me. What we did was, we took over the engineering match, and then we shut out a series of little flags all the way to connect to the airport. So I knew this guy ran back to the front, so I knew how fast I could run out his flag. And when I came back in front of the flag, we were here, I just raised my voice up louder and pulled on the emergency brake. No, I'm telling you, I mean, you maybe, you might not want to share, I would agree that you're going to share the emergency brake. No, that's it. But um, I'm happy when people say this. Well, fairly, no, not I'm just wondering if, but if we can contact him and find some more pictures. Does he have the bracket to go over to And I got there to stop so laughing. I was where my, my ex would be in the chair. Don't laugh at Ralph Nader. And finally, I, I explained to him, you know, it would take about 12,000 of those double A batteries to power this car. Oh, we don't recharge. I got to get one. Yeah. New one there. It's instant. I had the same thing. I gave a talk to the Detroit SME. 300 engineers. The first question was, well, they were saying you're going to call it 60,000 hours. And so and so over to it. It was range. I said, let me tell you, and we recharged in five minutes. That's like a month. So it was if any of you've got calculators, I would like you to calculate how you transmit 30 yep. kilowatt hours in five minutes. And this is not taking time. And all the graduates just went through and started going around. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, they did make them in the one copy of the idea of the one unobtainium. And we plugged it in five pages of line. I just, I just, yeah, that would take some serious input. And I want that to help it. You know, I think. The trouble with Ralph Nader is he believes the stock is yeah, yeah. Say all the people. Okay. Hey, I'm going to get That's the problem. I'm going to get to all the rest of our numbers. No, of course it does. Yeah. Lightning rods really and really unobtainium bars. Yeah. yeah. How you yeah. do it? Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Back yeah. Down yeah. Down Giant Jacob. Yeah. 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 No, no, no. no. <laughs> yeah. Like an area. Troy. Yeah. Down Troy. Jacob. There's all the GE big rigs all the way around the car. What ever happens in the car? Okay, no, no, I just didn't know if we like knew a certain section. There's South Troy, North I mean, Troy, Lansingburg. No, you know, Troy's well, kind of big. Troy even goes into Wyoming. I tried to see if I could get a power in the store. The R&D center. You could say Troy. I'm from yeah, I, I, I made an, an offer. You know, my mailing address is Troy. I said, if you let me have the car, I will restore it. It's like saying you're from New York. If you live in New York City, I'm like, nah. Nobody can make a decision. I think this might be better now. Well, you know, the thing I have to say, you know, you know, the characteristics of this graph don't lie. It's almost identical to the old Chevrolet. And the more information you put through the graph, it's a great map. I built that in 1968. These guys are looking at the code. Oh, I'm sure they do. I knew exactly what GM was doing. I had this built up here. I got it. That's a real horse. And you had a little round or flat with the power arm and the bumpers. And the front bumpers. When the accessory bracket went in, it was a flat one-cent This one here, they took off the pictures. 
thing. Look off the right 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 Look at this closer. Right 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 all them have no issue. Well, front axis. I didn't charge you until it goes up like a thing. I'm showing you the real horse in three days. We were just sitting there and listening. And they're all right here, though. Take your hand. It's a hand control on a G20. You can tell he's got the hand control. When this is like 1965. Well, the only one that makes any rules. So, you know what? It's the Jim. Right here. Here, remember you You don't like the Tesla? You don't like the I got a 6,831 little batteries in it. I love it. How come they did the two colors, though? You didn't know why? I think it actually has changed a little bit. The time has been in my office. You know, that, that, that is the... It's almost 40 years old. Do you remember being in all these pictures and stuff? Some of them, a lot of the uh, guys are uh, modeling the models that I hired, not me. Okay, okay. but there is some pictures from, I was going to bring it, I didn't know if I should. Yeah. You're in the 1970s um, or 69 Popular Mechanic. Oh, yeah. You're in that one. I got that here. So, uh, I got Popular Science couple here. Uh, but do you remember the GE20s in 1969 being hand controlled? The, 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 the 12 was a hand control. But the 20 in 1969 was a hand that's control. That's true. That was true. That was for industrial use. <laughs> yeah. This yeah. 20 in 1969. Oh, the 20 that's hidden behind. You know. That's an E20. It's got a hand control. And you see the guy operating it right here with the dozer blade? It's a hand control. I guess he probably had a bunch of experimental ones. Yeah, that, that, that one. Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah. Okay. Time delay. They also use wheel horse seats and wheel horse axles, right? You guys were really tight with wheel horse at the time. Well, we, we use the transaxle from them, yeah. Well, Peerless, yeah. Peerless, yeah, right. It wasn't really yeah. wheel horse, it was made by Peerless. But yeah. the front axle and the seats and everything else was what wheel horse was production lining theirs with. Let me see what this one had. Uh, <laughs> I can't see the front. One of the <laughs> interesting things, you know, I, I used to have a group of dealers come in every few months for a design review as we were designing them. Yep. And uh, one of our engineers, I'll leave him unnamed for now, had designed the front axle as a cast iron front axle yep. on his computer. Right. And one of the dealers, a guy from Youngstown, Ohio, he said, you don't want that cast iron axle. And why not? I said, because when somebody hits something, it's going to break and it's going to be our fault. And you guys changed them over in like 71 to the... Chick, Chick Gruber designed the steel axle. And he said, if somebody hits that, it's their fault. Yeah. It's going to bend. Right. Very good. Keep, keep the story going, though. I think we know what happened with that cast iron axle, with that dealer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Didn't he hit a doorway with it? <laughs> on purpose. Yeah, on purpose. Really? But, uh, well, it was the way, the only way I kept, the engineers kept showing me their computer analysis and said, Frank, I don't think I can't have a computer analysis. Well, I care about what's going to happen when someone misses their garage door. And it's that's not, exactly it's not, what he did. It's a garage door opener. Not he, right he, he, no, he ran the front wheel in the little concrete block building there in Scotia. Boom! Axle door right in half. Who was that? 
Can you, can you say? I'm not going to say what the engineer was. No, no. The, uh, oh, it was an engineer that did that? No, no. The engineer that designed the cast iron axle. But uh, our Youngstown, to Ohio dealer was one that said, you don't want a cast iron axle. You want a Ford steel axle. Because they bend it, it's their fault. Yeah. If they break it, a cast iron is your fault. Do you see the wheel horse emblem in the seat there in the 1969 flyer? Isn't that funny? We may have bought some from them. The wheel horse front axle, the wheel horse seat, they, they use the peerless transmission. Was I not, not in the final ones when we really came No, out. no, no, not the final yeah. ones. Yep. Yeah. Do you think those machines still exist? The what? Do you think those machines still exist? Oh, God, I have no idea. Uh -huh. you know, I mean, at this point, I have no idea what most of these things are. Did they ever prototype the first machine before they made a run? Did they ever prototype, like, the 12M before they decided to make it? <coughs> right. Yeah, the number we, just we prototyped them. all of them before we made them. How many did they make of a prototype? Um, the 12, we only made two. I remember that. The 15, we made a the lot The 12M, more. though? Yeah. How the Midnight and more. 12M was a mid and more, and that's the reason we did it. Can I show you something? Yeah. I got two things I just want to show you here. Bill's got a model number we can't make sense of. Oh. Maybe you can shed some light on it. it it's going to be hard. I wish I printed them out for you. He was offering it to me. <laughs> you see this right here? Yeah. It's the last number after the 12 is an X, one digit. Hold up, I was a prototype. And I want to show you something too. I want to show you just something too. Do you remember this? From the 1970s oh, yeah. flyer? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. You remember that, though? Yeah, I remember that bit on the front. Yeah. Yes. How many did they make of that? I really don't. I have a question about the okay. serial numbers. I've, I've gone kind of crazy trying to figure them out. Do you, do you remember that? <laughs> I, 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 I probably don't. It's been too long. Okay. Well, oh, I what it, 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 it looks like to me is... No, no, no. This the first letter is is the month. Nick, I, so, I think that was true. The first letter was the month. And then yeah. the second is the year. Yeah. And then there's the day of the month. Oh. That seems to work out. And then this was just a rolling sequence number for each model. Okay, just curious. Yeah. It, it, it seems to work out, does it? Yeah. No, you might be right. For example, I'm, I'm, I, w I went through, I've got calendars for all these years, and I, whenever I find one of these, I circle the day in the calendar, and they're all work days. There's one Saturday, but there's no Sundays, there's no holidays. Oh, I'd be right. I figured, unless you, did, unless you guys did overtime. It does. Not very often. It does. It does. Now we're not at GE Labor Race. But it does. <laughs> it does exist. I got this these are all models here. That's me. These are models. That's me or not. That is my house. In Rexford, next to you. So, Bruce, this is you, right? No. That's the model we hired. Okay, where are you? <laughs> I didn't bring my stuff. Do you have the Popular Mechanics 1970 that you're in? Uh, popular Science. I think. Science. With the four mower blades on the back. Why did they cut down from four mower de um, blades to three? We had clogging problems. Clogging problems. Okay. Yeah. Actually, you didn't have the airflow. Yeah. There's just so many things that they did in the beginning years. Oh, I know. Do you remember the double supports on the hood that they did in the 1969s and 70s? Boy. No. <laughs> right. I, I don't, well, you know. I come up with all these questions. I know, there's been a lot of water over the dam since then. But. Wow. We all like to study our machines, Aaron. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, she said there was only two there, there they the yeah, yeah, I know it. Yeah. I know it. Yeah. 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 Hell, they spelled my name wrong. Yeah. 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 Beginning yeah. 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 I'm trying to see what this was. Yeah. 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 But this is yeah. definitely a stick. Yeah. 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 Y
and I have right there. Oh, Thank you. Well, look at here, because that's my house. White sticker. That was a red sticker. Blue, white, black. And why did they have the colors on the front? They were stickers at first. The 12 was yeah. red. Yeah. That, the 15 were blue, and the, the E12 were white. When did they change the stickers and make it a casting into the grill? Oh, actually, I think that was before we actually started delivering them to dealers. I'm pretty sure. Okay. At uh, 71. They were, they were growing them right here. Yeah. No, they were doing that in 73, though, for the wheel horse. Yeah, they didn't start grinding them. See, the first one for the wheel horse. Would you have the documentation? Would you remember when the actual first ones came off the production line? Yeah, why? Do you know when the first ones came off the production line? In it was during the strike. Yeah, we, had we had all the salary people working. And that was in you know, yeah. And that was actually, it was in 69 still. Because the first ones we delivered were February of 70. Uh, but we, we produced about a thousand tractors during the strike. And, uh, that was the initial thing we, we, we could sell. Oh, okay. I guess we're just going to have to keep standing here to find out. Oh, oh, God. Who was it? Oh, I do remember. Yeah. Young guy. Yeah. He, he, in the morning, he was from the other family. He was from the morning. But he was good. He was good. He was good. I don't think he would have been any good with a lot of drinks. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, yeah, well, that's, that's, that's the way it is sometimes. John Deere 140, 1969. That's a 1969 John Deere 140 triple hydrostat. It was the highest uh, expensive uh, John Deere tractor they put out with a 14 horse, and it was pulling against that E15. There's a video of that. Let me tell you, the one that was really fun, I took the lead Maybe I didn't bring it. I had a fire. Yeah. 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 Well, let me yeah. tell you, the, the yeah. one that I'd love to find, yeah. that, yeah. that yeah. most of you never heard of, I never get out there to get yeah. yeah. Most of you never heard of it, but the, the big E exposition in Springfield, Mass. Yes. Every late Yes. It's 2100 pounds. Okay. Well, okay. we well, took, we made, Chick River, we made what we called the Super Torque. We were called Egg Tire. That I filled with calcium chloride. Right. Took 800 pounds of feet. We used a crane to put them on. We wiped out five simultaneous gas tractors all hooked up behind it, running nitromethane. <laughs> the air was full of it. We pulled them all the way down. With what model, Bruce? That was an, it was an E20, but we took off. All the safety devices, <laughs> all, all the, all the ah. short out things, had a massive contactor. And that, and Just full, full power, huh? The thing was absolutely Four. unbelievable. Nothing would come down. Actually, we out, we out pulled a couple of bigger John Deere tractors. Because, you know, the old story, they didn't realize the electric motor has maximum torque installed. Yeah, right. zero RPM. You got to get the gas tractors up to four or five thousand RPM to get any maximum power. That's why you like beat them. Uh, yeah. you know, tractor pull. But it's just uh, like a steam engine. I wish the hell I knew what happened to that super yeah, torque. Right. Right. Uh, I'd love to think. Are you <laughs> going to going to go through all these one by one? The legal well, department well, I don't know. They hit it. <laughs> I'm sure I bought a here we go. Yeah, th th I think this is it. No, it's 71. This one was after the one you're in, I think. This is June 70. Oh, okay, this is it then. Yes. There's the ag tires that they're introduced. The Goodyear yeah, ag yes. on an E15. Yeah. The front are Goodyear too. Yeah. You're coming up. I know you are. Oh, I, I wish. Uh, I wish I brought my copy. No, these are all the models that we hired. You were in one. Oh, I thought you were. Your house is the house on the 1972 flyer. Yeah, the white one, black shutters. Yeah. Yeah. Not, th not this house. No, 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 no. But, uh, the 1972 flyer. Your house is the front cover, isn't it? Well, actually, some of my houses. Ah, actually, that's my house. There, that's yeah. your house. Where, whereabouts is that? Bro? Right next to the Edison Club on Riverview Road. No kidding. As you pass the Edison Club, it's the next. It's the way back from the road. Yeah. Has a white fence out front. Are you still there? Oh no. no. I hated to sell that house. I loved it. 
but uh, when I, when I moved down to one baker chemical, did you, was a, was a did you find yourself in that article? I don't in this one. Okay. But, uh, I thought I had, I, I didn't bring my stuff. Yeah, I want to get copy of I was the, uh, That's when you introduced the 12S, right? Yeah. That was 1970. Yeah, that was just about the time we were coming out with our first real production. Look at this. You guys were toying around with making your own plastic decals for the side of the hood. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Because look, it's got the 69 bumper production. Well, all right. Probably doesn't want that. Huh? Yeah. Hey, How are you, brother? Good, good, You're busy good. now. See you. I um, showed Bruce the parcel post carrier. He remembers it. Oh, yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Actually, the, the best market that we never really had time to pursue enough was the airport baggage handling market. Yeah. Right. We had a couple over the Albany airport. They made and the, the, the duty cycle was so short pulling baggage cars. If they were running 24 hours a day, it wasn't a problem. Yeah. You know, because you only run in like yeah, for three the, minutes in the From the terminal to the yeah. plane yeah. and back, yeah. and that's it. Yeah. And, and, and uh, who was it? The, oh, God. The outfit that made the ones that they, they were like $8,000 a piece. Cushman is the one that got into the industry, I thought. The electric well, well, but before that, it was, no, there was a, one of the uh, lift truck officers. Oh, uh, looks like I can see the name of the park. Tug? Who? Tug? Yeah. Uh, no, a lot of the airport vehicles, I think, are made by But they're there now. But then, but but our, our E-15 would, all, would, would do all they needed for $1,500 instead of 8000 Aviation's a funny market, Bruce. Well, I know. Hey, listen, let me tell you, I'm involved in some things with the military right now. You want to talk about funny market? <laughs> we got, I'm an investor in the best armor material known to man. The, the last Tuesday and Wednesday, it, it, it exceeded every other armor material that the government had. I just thought, and they still, and you can mold it into helmets. They don't know, right? Maybe it's not. Do you mind if we take a picture? No. It stopped three 50 caliber bullets at 50 feet away in a four inch circle. That's all it did was dent it. Well, you know, it dented, so. <laughs> yeah. 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 And, it's, and, it's, and, it's, and it's one quarter of the way to the moon. Keep in mind the name Hot Block. You'll hear about it sooner or later. The government ever wakes up. But, uh, Good luck with that. Well, we got the first contract. It's so going on the floor of Sikorsky helicopter. Uh, I think it's one of the things. The logs <laughs> over there shooting them down with AK-47. Yeah, it really is. Uh, and you want real life well, stuff. Yeah. yeah. So you got to wait. Every extra pound is one less pound That's you can fantastic. carry. Absolutely. I got to go yeah. through. Yeah. I mean, I was really good if you can't get in. I was right. more of pure yeah. for what the machine has out of serial tag, so I gotta <laughs> go through. There was one fellow that uh, showed up that was asking, he, I think he wanted to buy an E-20 or something to use to haul his helicopter around at the airport. So what he what Larry saying to other people here, they didn't make it all on the front. I checked into some more in the last couple of days. Uh, you were part of some really, really neat stuff. <laughs> well, see, see, the thing that made the business so much yeah. fun was that we got the I, yeah. I didn't mind on to anything. Philippi, the sheriff, and Jesus, I, I got a call on a. Uh, 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 uh,
piece of meat in the truck. The chairman is eating it. At that point, they didn't know what the hell to do with me. You know, and so they said, well, you, you work for the R&D now. And our, our speaker said, don't do anything to embarrass me. We, I got nothing off on my plate. The plate has built the whole plant, that's all. You know, a signal, a signed appropriation. <laughs> Do you remember uh, John Witcher, Bruce? They worked for GE. He was in research and development, not for the Electrac, but he was working at GE. Then he became really heavily in uh, fixing them after. I don't, I don't know. Okay. Peter Stewart. He worked with me in the business with Alvin. He's a big guy. Trust me. He's a wonderful guy. Zimmerman's got one of these. Al Warren. Yeah. yeah, I know that name. I'm not getting a face in front of me. I know that name. I'm 45. I remember him as a training officer. Oh, he's been in the well, I didn't know there were rooms. They had, no, no, I'm not. No, no, no. There was a whole trying to make a bundle on stuff. A bunch of young apparatus shop kids didn't get to see it. We're talking like 12 years ago. Uh, before Nick and I ever met. Because of, of the family business. You know John Wisher? Yes. I don't know if you're looking for him. No, no, no. I know who he is, and I, I, I hang out with him all. Not all the time, but, much I can, but I was tr trying to find out if Bruce knew it. Well, some of the things that I, like I was pointing out in this stuff, I'm trying to ask him. I asked him about the partial post carrier that they, that they made. They made. Do you remember what the first one was? They had two different ones. Like. Yeah. The first one was more like a wheelbarrow shape, and the second one yeah. tried to make it square. And I think it was a wheelbarrow. Yeah, it was. It was a garden cart. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And you're right. The garden cart was the second one, and it was a homemade one, and it had a square top with it. The first one they put on the 12S for the December flyer was the garden cart. Well, you know, a lot of cases, you had to shoot these PR pictures so far ahead. Right. You know, you didn't, you know, and it could have been anything. Else. See this, Bruce? Yeah. The arms for the, the the deck weren't up high in here. They were yeah. down here. They were on a lower. Yeah. These 69, this whole book is, here's your four blades. Yeah, yeah. That's not, that's not you? All these were shot way ahead. It might be. Let me look at that. That's you on the four blades. No, it isn't. That's no. Wait a minute. That, I think that's you. Okay. Yeah, you're right. That is me. I, 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 yeah. That is me. Yeah. Yep, the four blades. I knew it on the four blades. Where, um, yeah, that is right. You're right. I knew it. I was going to bring my copies. In the popular mechanics, in the four blade version of the deck, this is Bruce here. And he's in this one and the other popular mechanics with the four blades. The very Weirdest death that came out. I wish I brought mine. You don't do autographs, do you? <laughs> oh, sure. I did. I did. Yeah, he did something for me. Oh, I, I should have brought my stuff. I just. Well, well, I have something for you. You can get all of it. Okay. Yeah, I, all right. uh, I think I need a beer. So when you were, were like the electronics and stuff and wiring, you basically assembled the plate down. Is that a scroll cap? I didn't want to turn my camera my hand. Okay. So you had ladies making the stuff and then they would bring them to a different part in the line and then you would just stick them in there. It's not like you were making the harness in the machine. Oh, yeah, yeah. Extra wire is there. Oh, believe me, I know. I said, no, I'm going to try to stand I don't know who it is either. I just I'm hoping your memory is going to be very I, I sure remember his face. I remember his face. You know what you got to do with that? Is go to a good big copy shop and make all the copies of it. But I'm trying to find if you're in here. I don't have. Let me see. Uh, yeah. 
Well, like I said, plastic eyes and ink. That's not you. No, that's not Over 40 years. That looks like the big I had. No, you wouldn't want that. They got at least 100 of them. I wish I had your picture so I could sign it next to it. That's the deal. for my family. Yeah, we're here. What's your family? That's down in Connecticut. That's not my name. Yeah, as a matter of fact, we'll read that one. Her ex is in Connecticut. You weren't? That's not you either. You don't even mention that that's an electric on the post card. Oh, that's true. I wish I thought the things so I could have you look. Oh, yeah, there's the whole line. Yeah. Like the 20 version. Huh. Yeah, there you go. I was born. We had a real big deal with that. Like, there's a lot of them. First thing anyway, I ever drove, drove, he bolted a two by four to the push panel. So I was going to drive the fire area sooner than where I could really reach the panel all the way. Maybe I should go buy another one of these and have you sign it. Oh yeah, I'll be glad. Wait a minute. Oh, that's kind of fact, Pennsylvania. Speaker of all, I don't think my stuff has to sign. I'd love to have you sign next to him. Did you see him? He's right here. I knew he was. He says. I don't want any more engineering crap. What I want is a business analysis of whether we should be in the car business or not. <laughs> and that's how I got the job. That's really funny. That was the, that was the, uh, 1966. If I get that busy? Yeah, that'd be good. New business development. Yeah. When I got, in, when I got involved in EV1, when we were installing them as a place Skyline Drive and for uh, right there, I that. Yeah. Right on yeah. The yeah. That was the, the right Class right Jones. Oh. The so Jones Class B. No, this is Virginia. SCR thing drive. that rang on and off. It's called oh. 81, the interstate. No, I, still have, I still have all, all my books and all my conversion crap that I'm putting them in. The fact, they're still a 300 amp price uh, in my car. Uh, uh, my, uh, my, uh, my friend, uh, I don't hear her name, uh, Cecil Clancy at all, yeah, it's like a six and worked in the Fort drive. Wayne. Plant. He said he well, actually, he worked on the, some of the controllers for the EV1. Seven hours. But. Yeah, they built some of them. They built some of them in uh, Cleveland, too. Huh. As a pulled-in replacement. Where we have Mary Ellen started here. Yeah, what's neat about this is the... Watch the back of that truck over there. Out too. Uh, some spare parts. Well, we'll have it. You know, I want to resort like a bunch of parts, yeah. And, uh, I know what you want to do. You want to get one with some parts and rebuild it. Don't you? Yeah, yeah. Okay, the place is all open. The cars, the wheels, the wheels, the wheels. I'm not going to tell anybody about that. I'm going to tell you about that. Yeah, I know. I don't want it. My maintenance man runs it. No, no, I want you to I tell you what, they got one great features on that boat. We never had it. They have a couple of nozzles on the motor deck, and you hook your hose on it. Yeah, so let's go ahead and the water up high and start the motor going at full speed. It totally cleans out the motor. That's a smart idea. Because that's what rotted out all the motor deck on the grass. You couldn't get out there. Yeah, I knew you had a couple of lads that were showing how you could bring it straight up and spray it. Oh, yeah. No one well, with the front motor motor, it was fine. We had no problem. But the mid motor motor, we had no problem. But he had to. Actually, I'll tell you another great story. George, we're good. That's what we went to the New York Fly. All right, we the track and we replaced the blades with kaleidoscope discs. We got the motor sitting up like this. We hired an acrobat, and he would jump off and try to get to the motor before the blades stop. And we sold a lot. Of and people say, "Oh, my kid can go the lot." No danger. That was the greatest thing. And boy, I'll tell you the gas. That's the guy they ate their hearts out like that. So they could never, you know, the only reason you have instant stopping blades on, on gas tracks is that because of us. We first saw him. Well, I think he had some of the things like the seats. Oh, yeah. Same thing. That was brand new. And on the brakes, we're shot on the head of the car. So where is it? Where is it?
it today. I didn't think so. I was, I was telling somebody here, they tried to, I, I tried to get the fire. I said, I will restore it. I will maintain it. It can be demonstrated any time. I can go in and I've got to get back off the inside off of it. And one of my old friends that's retired now from Mars, he said, come to go there and make this stuff. You know what I mean? That's sick. It's like the EVs. Maybe, that, maybe that's what we'll call the book. Who killed the electric track? Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, I'm not far. Oh, this is priceless. Yeah, I'll have to get some copies of this. Well, again, if you if you want to put me in your will for this, my yeah, name is B E C K E T T. That goes, e -T -T. In, my, that goes in my den at the art center. <laughs> Bruce, I got to get you to sign your picture. All right, give me your sharpie, Lloyd. I just, he does a better thing. He's got a sharpie. He doesn't like what I do with it. Oh, it's in my bag. Let me go get it. Well, I don't know. Oh or maybe others. It does a nicer job. <laughs> yeah, that's the back wing of my house in Rexford. And this is your house here? Uh, that, that's it, yeah. Right next to the Anderson Club. My parents, when they got married. Yeah. But you see, a lot of these pictures were taken before we even had the final models. We had to do it for PR pictures. Yeah, these uh, yeah. caps on those. Yeah, that one. Like no, that's right. You guys got more of all this stuff than I do. Well, we will definitely be No, I, what happened was this guy named Dave Christash had worked for us back then. Did you have, did you have, he called me up, oh Christ, about two years ago. I did have And he said, I'm trying to resurrect the electric factory. Oh, I said, he sent me a, a bunch of emails and pictures of it. He had some great ideas. He basically using the same structure, but he had, uh, had some good ideas in the reverse and the more blades and other stuff. But, uh, and, and funny, I said, you know what, Dave? He did. I got a barn full of two tractors. All, all the spare yeah, parts you could ever want. I left it in front uh, seat. A rototiller, a front end loader, a welder, I don't know what the hell else I had. And a plow and everything. And I said, if you bring a tra you know uh, the uh, 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 trailer here, I'll load it up and give you it all to you. I don't know. And I gave it all to him. He's got it out in Cleveland. Oh. oh, he brought him? I don't know. I'm a teacher. So you worked at the plant too? Yeah. I'm just filling the one more guy. Perfect. Okay. That's yours. What did you guys do? Oh, 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 yeah, hang on to that. Yeah. What, what yeah. place was like you did everything, right? No, the whole. It was a unique thing, I think, in the history of GE that I don't think anybody ever started a business before without the hierarchy knowing about it. <laughs> that was so funny. I tell them the story about when they finally assigned me to the transportation division, I said to some of the people, Do you remember I said, some of the that sure makes a lot of sense. Goddamn locomotives have got wheels on them. The, the off-road uh, mining trucks have wheels, and we got wheels, right? So that makes sense, right? Well, Bryce Wyman, who was the vice president of that, that division, he comes to visit. I take him on a tour of the plant, and we're not, we're putting out tractors, right? Stuff's going up through the paint booths, coming down the assembly area. Comes up to my office, he calls the door, he says, where the hell did all this come from? There's not a single sign of appropriation. <laughs> this is one of my tractors. And I said, well, Bryce, I want to tell you, a lot of midnight requisition going on. From the businesses you used to run in Schenectady. He was the motor guy in Schenectady before he got that job. He said, what do you mean? Oh, yeah, I said, you know that there's a rule in GE that any equipment in GE that has not been used for six months you can remember claim for 10% of the appreciated value and no appropriation. I said everything in this plant came from the main plant. <laughs> And see, no, my just, manufacturing manager, right Pat Pomasano, had been a section manager in the motor department. He knew all this. And we pillaged the main plant. 
<laughs> we had a 40,000 square foot machine tool shop. Every single piece came out of the main plant. Mm -hmm. Oh, so this is yeah. they were using it. And, uh, and, 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 and the Bryce's comment, being a straight lace old team guy, said, well, don't, don't do that now that you work for me. I thought, oh shit, the game's over for the rest. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is, they improved. But in the original, in the original kitchen, though, I don't yeah. see it. Oh, nice to see cooker. you guys. Yeah. yeah. All yeah. All the little brackets. Yeah. yeah. Bruce, I'm going to go, too. All oh, right. Yeah. 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 I'm sitting down because i got a very bad back. Yeah, that's all right. That's fine. Good to see you. Hey, before you guys leave, we got to get the guys that all built these things together for a picture. Yeah, that'd be great. Oh, you know what? Somebody was gone already. I think Greg Crouch is gone. Wait, I'll run for it. Yeah. Are you online? Do you email? <laughs> you, are you online or email? I just wondered if you could show me pictures of something. I'll get you guys together. Who else is there? Uh, want a good picture of it, Jack? I'll hold on to the model and we'll over there. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, pick that up for me. And, uh, and, uh, <laughs> Oh, okay. All right. Let's get in the sunlight. Yeah. Being in the photographic. Okay. Uh, Gotta come back to the sunlight. Okay. Well, we're up there. See you right there. Yeah. 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 Oh, you guys get in the picture. We can put these up front if you want to get the G. That's a photo op. You guys arrange it. Yeah, I'm going to use that. This must mean that the cookie jar is available. We're all over here. We can always move. this way. All right, boys. I missed some Greg already, though. Here's the team. Very nice. Good. I'm amazed at the interest. Yeah. Uh, you are. Am I amazed? <laughs> <laughs> this is incredible. Yeah, really. That camera. That's great. Uh oh. <laughs> oh <God. laughs> uh, it's not over yet. Okay. <laughs> All right. There'll be time. <laughs> we'll get out. You guys taking off? Yeah. We'll be into the electrical side of things. Before electric, you get into the electrical side of things. He wanted me to be his marketing man. Chemical development. Wonderful. Yep. It's great. We had a meeting out in Pheasant Run in Chicago. A division meeting. Joe. And he, he, I'm Keith. Remember? How do you see him? How you been? And he said, I want you to be my marketing man. And I said, you live in the right place. You still live all due respect. Yeah, work. not for me. I want it. What do you mean it wouldn't work? He did his work. work. Yeah, I'm going to run this company we'll get him someday. Up and he actually said that. Put in big I said, it doesn't matter, Jack. He said, why? It's in I said, because I know a lot about oh, really? you. My brother worked under you in silicone. I know a lot of other things. And I said, so what do you mean? I said, well, Depending on yeah, who is looking for the right right cross, oh, we're doing very well. We're we'll not the other one on his ass. First, we can work for each other. We want to have like an heirloom farm and all that kind of stuff. He said, "You're making a big mistake." I said, "Well, let it be." I turned him down. He was not a nice man. I gotta tell you. You got one? I think he's on the way. You know, my grandmother got sick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 You know, so all of a sudden, like, the, with the we have a We have a doctor in a Kiwanis Park or something like that. You know, so they you know, and my grandmother is, as the man is he was, and the businessman is he was, and all of a sudden, oh, no wife anymore, and, like, took off. Uh, I don't know, oh, yeah, don't know the answer to that. He played teenagers. Oh, we have a little guy. I would think for a guy, yeah, exactly. Is this still recording? I don't know. I hope not. <laughs> I'm saying some nasty things. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Is that your niece? Or no, no. Didn't have any daughters. Three sons. Okay. No. There's some missing out of here, but um, I didn't know. If you that, actually, that's me there. Yeah. It is you. Yeah, that's me, and that was in the front yard of my 
you'll see other pictures in here. Can you sign that for me? This one? Yeah. yeah. Sure, sure. I got the Sharpie right here. All right, hold on. Hey, Harold, hold on. Chris, Chris, why did, why did uh, GE make so many different models of them? Wouldn't it have been simpler to just keep it, say, you know, three models all together? Well, all? the dealers really requested it. Really? Yeah, the dealers said, you know, the price points was one thing. You know, the 15, obviously, was the first one. And, you know, and it was fine. It did a lot. The, the 20 had more uh, more torque. So it could be, and then we made the I models out of, out of, out of the, uh, that, those as well. Where should I sign up here? Yeah, or? it's your picture. I don't care what you do. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Bruce. I, I'm sorry I'm pestering you. <laughs> no, I don't mind at all. I mind, I wouldn't have come here. <laughs> yeah, actually, you know, I think I've got that same one in my car. Am I going to see this on the Antique Road Show now? No. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, if you, anybody who knows me from the club, you know I know what I gotta do. I, I gotta go and get out of my car. Electric yes. on the internet. Yes. I want to show you what I've done oh, since all this. Guys. I'm all over. This I built yeah. 35,000 yeah. square foot art center yeah. over in Bennington. Seven major art galleries, two teaching studios, and a 350 seat theater, and the only museum of the Cuban Bridge in the world. For who? For my community. Oh, is that where you live now? Yeah, I live in Bennington. That's, that's a, it's a public 501c3 uh, non-profit. Go get some of these. You live in Bennington, huh? Are we talking New York? If I'm not from this area. Vermont. Vermont. But just over the line from New York. Okay. Yeah, only like an hour. Like an hour? From here. Yeah. If an hour and a half from here. I'm 250 miles from here. Really? Uh, where, where, where are you from? Belmar, New Jersey, on the Belmar. Pennsylvania side, not on the sea. That's a trip. So do you know Harold? Yeah, I do. He's sitting right here. Uh -huh. I wanted one of those. That's not good. Sorry. Sorry. I got it right out of here. I know, but I read it later. I'd be sleeping if I had that. Well, then, after this one, you have one of the summer. We, we can put you someplace in shape. I'll be here an hour. I'm going to be. I'm going to be. I'm going to be. I'm going to be. i Okay. All right. Yeah, I'll be here at least for an hour. I'm going to leave. Oh, you do it. Yeah, he isn't here. Did you make that? Well, the community has been good to me. I've made a lot of money. When I, when I left the last big company that was bought out, I had a pretty good stake to get up there with, but uh, I've increased it about 10 to 1 because I put 8 million in this art center. So. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. yeah. Well, no, you get a chance, come over and see my, the art center. I think you enjoy it. They have a wonderful art collection, you have good concerts. Yeah, 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 you got one. Good. Yeah, we're well, right over there. Great. Thirty-five miles uh, from Schenectady. That's all. Mm -hmm. I want you all know what I'm doing now. Oh, okay. That's my art center I built in Bennington. The, the, the top not picture is the art There's a place called Sunnyside Solar where I got like my very first solar panel oh, used that started me. Pages. That's it there. The Bennington oh, Center for the Arts. It's a large object. Oh, okay. I'm one of the biggest Native Americans. The table I never finished organizing. <laughs> yeah. I've been out in Arizona for 54 winters. Look at the back of everybody's truck. They. I can make it. Tucson. Well, you know Tucson? You know where Swan Road is? I'm a resident of Tucson. Aha! You know where Swan Road is? Actually, I was about 39. <laughs> Nope. Oh. I saw one of your electric cars down in Meadville in about 75 or 76. 
Yeah. Uh, how many of them actually became titled? You know? Actually, I don't think I ever titled any of them. I actually will get these transporter plates and stuff on them when I had to take them off. The, uh, of course, one of the most fun when I built that Delta out in, in uh, modern engineering service in a suburb of Detroit. The devil made me do it, but the last night before I was shipping the car back to uh, Schenectady, Mm -hmm. I went out at midnight and drove to the GM Tech Center, 60 miles an hour. <laughs> and, and, the, and the next day in the Detroit News, oh my God, this huge article, mystery car, making no noise, goes through the GM Tech Center. Maybe it was your car then. My dad said he was coming home from work one night in the dark, and this, he thought it was a police car, but it went by him like he, he was sitting still with no lights on. Maybe that was you. I don't know. I never know. It might no, there was a lot of lights. A lot of things. We had, we we're building that car. We had most incredible time. We had news reporters in Detroit trying to get into the building, and one of them came dressed in coveralls, and he was the paper towel man. Mm. But we didn't have any paper towel dispensers in the building, so the guys ushered him out pretty quick. Mm. And uh, but they were they were always trying to find out if they could about it. Mm. And then one night. Before we put the body on the car, when it was still like a buckboard, mm -hmm. about two in the morning, I'm there attesting it, running up and down the roads of this, where that, that uh, car builder uh, uh, prototype shop was. And the guy coming the other way with a woman in the car didn't even stop to look. And I said, I called my wife there and I said, I found a guy that was out with somebody else's wife. <laughs> if you saw this thing coming down the road, didn't make any noise in the middle of the night, and you wouldn't even stop? <laughs> it was somebody else's wife. Yeah, yeah it was somebody else's wife. <laughs> we had a lot of funny incidents like that. Okay, so this was like an eight. One of my cohorts in G back then said, you know, You've been living in a dream world. Nobody in GE gets to do what you want. <laughs> Depends on what you let stop you. Yeah. Well, that's and it. Unfortunately, uh, most of us learn too late. Yeah. Don't yeah, ask questions. Just go do it. They'll figure And, uh, get forgiveness. Yeah. yeah, get forgiveness or don't worry about forgiveness. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, here's the deal. Everybody wanted it to happen and they still want it to happen, but nobody's willing to, you know. They're all looking for somebody else to cover their ass. Oh, yeah, that's what yeah. it is. Yep. That's They're all looking for somebody that's else. That's absolutely what it is. It's to cover their ass to say, yeah, it's okay, you yep. can do that. Did yeah. you see this cake? Oh my God, look at that. Oh my God. We got a little crazy on the electric. It's, it's almost the right color, color too. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we had, it was a, you know, it was an unusual time that very few people ever probably had the opportunity to do what I had to do. But, uh, and my philosophy was people would say to me, some of our people at the plant, do you think you might get fired for this? I said, look, either we get this thing going, I'm going to get fired anyway. But I won't have a job anywhere. What news to make? You know what my philosophy is? Everybody's going to make a job suit themselves. I mean, when you take a job working for somebody, you have to make it your own. Nobody else can do it for you. Really. You're absolutely right. You know? so, and I've been doing it in four, four other companies ever since. You know, I, I did what I felt was right. If the powers of me didn't like it, fine. You can get rid of me if you want. Might cost you some money, but you can get rid of me. <laughs> and, and from what we can tell now from Gorgeous. Hi. Okay. Bob, how are you? I think we spoke a few times over the years. Yeah, we? yeah. How are you? Nice to see you. Thank you. Actually, yeah. I still work. You are yet? Wow. Wow. More about it. In R&D. In R&D? Yeah. 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 And that's about 42 years now. So. God, and that's... Well, I was sorry George said that Chip Hoover had passed away. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I used to work with him. Did you? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he was quite, quite Chip was one of the best damn engineers who never got a degree that ever lived. Yeah, he sure was. Yeah, you know, he, he was so practical. He had a, a can-do attitude. Yeah. I was surprised at the price of the Got a mattress sat there? 
Yeah, Actually, just a week ago, I ran through a pretty high part of the garden that should have walked through first. Uh -oh. One of those tomato stands. Oh, oh God. Oh, 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 man. It took some nasty knots. It still moves, but not quite so. Yeah, I'll bet. Uh, one thing I think it makes them all, they just slog the grass. I don't try to. I've been grinding them down and down there. What's that? Yeah, that was funny. All you have to do is get the old ones off. The schmaltz? Uh, no problem. You used to take them off every year. Huh. Oh, that's, yeah, that probably trains them. Well, it's like taking fight for you. You take your fight for you every two years, whether they need it or not, because when you're dealing with aluminum body or engine parts, but once that aluminum starts corroding, you're done. Yeah. You know, one of the great ideas I've seen recently, my maintenance man at the art center, has an international harvester, and it has these ports on the deck that you hook your hose onto, turn up the water, start the mower and run a full blast, cleans the deck beautifully. Ooh, what a great idea. Idea. For a mid-modern mid mower, it's a, it's a great idea. It really cleans it up beautifully. That's something that was on Toro or Lawn Boy, like that, 100 uh, years ago. And with a, with a long enough hose. Yeah. It was on them originally. Was it? Yeah. Well, I've seen that on his, and I watched him do it, and I was amazed at why the grass just plays out. Two days with your lawnmower. Yeah. Oh, the front motor, that's one reason we like the front motor mower, because you can just wash it up. And that's 90% of the reason mowers go down. You know, oh, look, here comes another one. Oh, my God, who's that? This is a guy, from, I think it's a guy from Western Ohio. Who well, drove out? Who drove out? Jesus, that's not Chris Dash, is it? He, no, it's his name is Chad. Chad Ross, something like that. Yeah. He stopped in Ithaca on the way and oh. picked up several machines, and he's taking the I-5 uh, forklift back to Ohio. Oh, for heaven's sake! So Chris Dash is still around and doing things with the electric car. He's out there in Cleveland. See, I gave him all the equipment I had out in my barn. Which was two tractors, front end loader, rototiller, welder, God, I don't know what else, sprayer, I mean, almost everything. And because uh, he was trying to resurrect the business, but he couldn't get any, he hadn't been able to get any financing. This is a tough time to start a business. Mm -hmm. And I, I said, I'd love to help him, but I'm putting all my money into supporting that art center I built, but I really can't do anything else. Well, I've seen some stuff online just turn around about your art center. It seems like you're doing a fine job. Well, it is. It's been good. It's been tough for the last almost three years because with the echo crisis, people don't have to buy art. And we were supporting. 2007, I came within $7,000 of breaking even. The last couple of years, I've put in over $70,000 a year. Because we're not we're, we're not selling the art that we're paid for. Where are you located? In all in Bennington, just two and a half miles inside the New York State border, on, on the road from Troy. Uh, so, so you didn't move too far, right? Huh? No, didn't move too far. There, there's the uh, this is a brochure I produced for everything in Bennington. That's actually the art center there. Huh? But, uh, no, it's been a, it's, it's been a great. I have a I have a I guess I could say a very big art collection. A, a lot of Native American art that I've collected out west for years. And uh, I hope I don't have to sell it. If I do, it's worth about five times what I paid for it. <laughs> yeah, you might have a few tax problems. But anyway. Well, there's one artist that I that I collected named Bob Kuhn, K-U-H-N. He died a year and a half ago. He was the top wildlife artist in the world. And one of his paintings I paid $8,000 for. One just like it sold at auction last year for $153,000. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I told my wife, if we get in real financial trouble, sell the Bob Kuhn. <laughs> but, no, it's been it's been a lot of fun. We we uh, it's tough right now because unfortunately buying art is a discretionary purchase and you don't have to buy it. You know, it so it makes it tough. But which model do you have? Do you have an E15 or the one I use I've been using the more lot my wife knows along the last twenty five years the E it's a permanent magnet. It's an E5 roll, which is the front mounted mower. I have an E20, I have an E15. Oh, you do all of them. I have a four of them, I guess, but 
some parts. Do you, do you know whatever happened to the Delta of the RD set? They wouldn't let me take it out. I wanted to take it. I said, I'll restore it, I'll provide it in running shape, and then nobody can sign it. I know what you mean, because I was there when. But the last information I got from Harvey Shadler before he retired, he was the chief medical artist, uh, was that he thinks they scrapped it. I think they did, and that's probably... How the hell they did that, yeah, God damn A lot of stuff like that, too. So. Yeah. Well, look, I said, look, I will restore it, I'll get it running, I'll maintain it, and any time you want to borrow it, you can borrow it. I couldn't get a decision. Yeah. It's too bad. Because, you know, I, what I laugh about now is telling a couple of people, read the specs on the Chevrolet Volt, and then read the specs on my Delta. Amazingly the same. That only took them 43 years to catch up. <laughs> yeah, I remember the Delta. I mean, I, 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 you know, we, we did some follow-on things after that. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I know we, I was first in that. Well, I hauled one back from uh, Larry Reynolds' friends that had uh, an electric back from Shelbyville, Indiana. It was in the back end of the pickup truck, and I was going to put a sign on it that says, this too gets 40 miles to the charge. Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't do it. <laughs> yeah, it stopped uh, all season, I guess it was. Oh, they yeah. Mentioned, they mentioned your name, and I, 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 got I was go actually pick looking for a Honda Magnum motor for my, my uh, electric. One I use most, most every day. And he said, well, yes, I mean, he mentioned your name. He said, I guess he was there when they uh, had a parade where they drove the traffic from Scotia. Yeah. Yeah. Right to the Freeman's uh, Bridge Road there. Yeah, we're Street. on Freeman's Bridge yeah, Road. Right, yeah. Right. He Absolutely. Said, he said, I know that I did I moved to Smackley in 79. So I, this was in the mid 70s, I guess. Yeah. So yeah. You were involved in 74. Yeah. Yeah. No, it all stemmed from the Delta. You know, all my work on that and my final presentation of the G Executive Committee was, no, we shouldn't go in the car business because we don't know squat about transmissions, suspensions, or any of those things, and we'll, we'll have more recalls than you can count. But the electric tractor doesn't go that fast. It doesn't have any, any energy problems, and, and it makes sense. It makes good sense. And uh, it was funny. I remember years later, my second wife was from Wyoming, and she in a little town called Saratoga, named after Saratoga Springs, New York, because they had hot springs. And she belonged, her late husband was, a, was the founder of American Nuclear Corporation. Unfortunately, like most of the uranium prospectors, he got the big C fairly early. And anyway, he belonged to an incredible club there. A, a guy named George Storr, who was the first big buyout on Wall Street, first cable TV buyout by Colbert Travis. George got $900 million for his company. And he took his ranch out in Sarasota and Saratoga built this beautiful club called the Old Barley Club, named after the mountain there. Anyway, it was a real male chauvinist pig club. If a, a woman's husband died, she could stay in, but no women were allowed to join. But my wife was determined she was going to stay in. What really made her mad, right after we got married, the first bill they sent to me, oh God, did she get mad? You know, she said, after 11 years of my best pay to stay in this club, they sent me the bill, her new husband. Well, anyway, the, uh, but with it, the, the, and so we were in Wyoming for quite a while out there. And I dropped out of a lot of things going on here. And then we decided, we had the house in Tucson, and that and where I met her was, she opened up in the winter, Wyoming pretty brutal, like minus 80 wind chills. They closed the roads half the time, and uh, she came down and put a gallery in Tucson. I went in and bought a couple of bronze sculptures from her. A year later, I got a new wife. Yeah, right. But uh, <laughs> yeah, well, she she runs the art center now. For me, so it, uh, but uh, any, anyway, the the uh, in all the time that that we were doing all of this, the. Uh, uh, I learned one other great thing. In fact, it was just on the internet. The most tax-friendly place to have your company. Guess where it is? Wyoming. Because all the all the corporate taxes in Wyoming are based on the assets 
residing in or employed in the state of Wyoming. I had three of my companies out there. I had $12,000 worth of computer equipment. My taxes were $72 a year, <laughs> no matter how much I made. And that's why all these big stock market guys are up in Jackson Hall, like Gabelli and all the big, the big name guys. But uh, no, we, and, and the, the way I was able to build the whole tractor business was, uh, I don't know if you remember, but you know, before I worked for our Pika, I worked for Philip, the chairman, and he died in a food choking accident, and they didn't know what the hell to do with me. So they said, okay, you report to our Pika. Pika said, for God's sake, say, don't cause me any trouble. I got nothing to do out here. So I just went ahead. And then later on, when we were first producing the first tractors, right after the nationwide strike was killed us. I did, right there, that's when I first started the, that, yeah. that summer. Oh, God, that was they, awful. I think my second or third day of work, they, they finished, they just settled. Yeah, but it was, we had orders for 20,000 tractors that first year. Wow. We could only produce 1,000 during that three-year strike. It was terrible. But anyway, the... Uh, uh, when they said work for Pika, I said, okay, by then I found I could lease that plant in Scotia for 50 cents a square foot. I didn't need an appropriation. I hired Pat Tomasano, who had been a section manager in Motor down in he, he knew a very valuable piece of, of news. Any equipment in GE that has not been used in the last six months, you can claim for 10% of the depreciated value. No appropriation. I built the whole plant out of that. <laughs> and then when they decided to assign me to transportation, made sense, right? Both had wheels on them, right? Yeah. Yeah, one of them like, like two stories high, the other one's this high. And Bryce Wyman came, he was a real old line stickler, GE guy. He comes to visit. I take them to the plant. We got the whole thing running with the paint lines up with the roof, everything. I come to my office after he closed the door. He says, where the hell did all this come from? And I said, well, Bryce, let me explain how this works. Away. I explained to him about the squatter and rice and all this stuff. His only comment was, well, don't do it now that you work for me. I thought, ah, oh, shit, the sun's gone. No. But uh, fortunately, we had the whole place pretty much built and owned by then. Actually, I still work, and my technician I work with every day, he used to test his head with uh, Gary Kuzi. Uh, oh, really? And, and, and then uh, the specialist I had, the kind of specialist, Marlon Stanley, I think he was in Oh, yeah, I remember Marlon. Wow, he sure. Was very, he, uh, he and I worked together. I mean, he worked yeah. Yeah, he retired, I guess, eight, eight, ten years ago. Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, he was quite a character. Yeah. But he came over from Electrac and uh, for, the, for the hybrid vehicle in 1979. Uh huh. Is when he started working on that. And I, I moved to Syracuse. Oh. I moved to Syracuse, G in Syracuse from 69 to 79. Okay. So I, I was. Uh, Project engineer and then became chief engineer for the hydro Oh, really? And the one we seen with both players. Yeah. So I've been working on electric and hydro vehicles full time since. Uh, oh, you're awesome. damn. Yeah, sure. yeah. Now, all of a sudden, now they start to get pretty good. Well, you know, my my last presentation at the GDS Executive Committee. When I got approval to do the tractor, but I and I said no, we can't go in the car business. We don't have the experience. And the uh, some years later, I started to tell a story at this old Baldy club in, in Wyoming. I'm sitting there having lunch in between 18 holes of golf, and I look at this man sitting about four tables away. And I said to my wife, I said, you don't know who this is, but I swear that's Jack Parker, who was the vice chairman of the GE. Who, I'll tell you more about that story. But I got up and walked over and I said, excuse me, you're Jack Parker, aren't you? He said, yeah, I said, I'm from Slovakia. He got up and shook my hand. He said, God, he said, I haven't heard of you since you said that. You sold electric. And I said, well, I told him how, how, what I was doing out here and all that. And he was the one, and during that final presentation, and uh, Jack McKittrick, who was the so-called technological vice president, 
when I said we shouldn't go to the car business, he said, what the hell, Walmart? I said, you lost your nerve? And Parker said, yeah, Jack, now that we vanquished IBM, we need another centralized business. And everybody laughed and sat down. And then Dave Dance, who ran appliances, he wanted the money to go in the kitchen cabinet business. And they favored me over him. Which, and that was Parker and John. It was great. I said, well, I think, I mean, in the other tracks, it's just probably 30 years well, too early. Well, at least. Yeah, at least too early, yeah, unfortunately. So it's, uh, it well, but you know, if it wasn't for that strike and loss of momentum, I think we could have made it. You know, but... What was it, about five years? How, how long were you in production? Well, we, we started in 69 with, uh, during the strike, and we produced a few. In fact, like a thousand in a year. And the last one before I left was 74, late 74. Yeah. And the last year we produced 25,000 units. Yeah. But you know that what they couldn't stand, the whole front office down there in New York, yeah, they couldn't stand the receivable. And I'd say to them, will you please go and talk to John Deere or the National Harvester? They've been in this business for years. And they don't understand floor planning. Not G, couldn't stand it, the receivables. And that last year, before I left, I had visits from 105 GE vice presidents. I always say the good news was the other 100 didn't come. <laughs> I wasted my whole year just giving tours. And nobody had a viable solution or suggestion. And I keep telling them, God damn it. Will you get someone in finance to go talk to their, their tractor makers? They just couldn't stand a business with that kind of cash flow. They're just killing it. No, and see, I had, knowing that it was going to, you know, I tried to buy real horse. And the government wouldn't let, wouldn't let GE buy real horse. So I finally said, well, the other answer, American Motors is buying real horse. We'll sell to them. And that's when I said, okay, the game's over. And they wanted me to come and run it. And I, I didn't like the American Motors people at all. And I was right. They went right downhill after that. And I had the standing offer to get out of that trailer. Kind of all together, I think. Yeah. He kept, there was a motor sitting underneath this one, underneath the big snowblower. Oh, yeah. He kept that motor. So John likes motors. Yeah. You just got <laughs> all this I, stuff today? Yeah. Cool. So picked it up in Ithaca. North of Ithaca. Oh, north of Ithaca, huh? It's nice. pretty nice drive. Oh, uh, you had a long way to come. Yeah. Oh, you live around here? It's from western Ohio. Oh, Ohio. Oh, cool. Nice. My folks live in Bloomington. Well, you know, eleven o'clock last night when we were driving. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We left kind of late. We was trying to get some other stuff done, and it just, you know, it just turned out that way. Do you, uh, you restore them? I haven't done my own. Just get them around. I haven't gotten that far yet. I'm hoping to restore my 120. Uh, what do you see there, Bruce? Oh my God! Look and at this. <laughs> I've got a. I think if somebody's got a bit of a restoration project to <laughs> Gotcha. You? There's a, there's a 14. That's a GE 14? It's a very old. My name's oh, all over. It's a very there. young 14. Oh my god. Uh, well, you know, that that's the side of the trailer to to that I filled up for Pistach. Oh, my bomb. Sorry about that. With uh, not that many tractors, but a lot more accessories and parts. Oh god. That's amazing. Uh, boy, that was early. early on. Did they, over, did they put their hinges on this backwards, or did they not? Is that something Wheel Horse did, That's or is it the other way? Because when Wheel Horse put them on their own tractors, they cut the other way. Yeah, I know. I, I know. I think you're right. Yeah, I don't remember ever seeing that. But uh, uh, I'll be damned. Depends on how tender the guy's ass. Yeah. And that, that 14 is from March of '74. Oh boy. Wow. So that's pretty late. It's way late. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, it'd be late anyway. Yeah, like the one I just bought, Bruce. Yeah! <laughs> you got a 145 now? Yeah, that's, yeah. that's a, that's a 12 CA. So all you're missing is the 185, right? It's the first real 12. Exactly. Hey, listen, I, I'm not up to date. I just, I know you bought the 60, I know you bought the 65. I... No, I don't have a 65. 
I'm still looking for a CTE. Okay. Well, yeah, it is a CA. I thought it was a VA for some yeah. reason. Well, I didn't ask. Sigma right there? He restores them. Oh, is it? Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> You know, that may not be a bad thing. I was considering doing a, uh, putting a large frame transaxle on it. I like to like keep, like keep, <laughs> keep, it'll sit up a little higher, kind of like a bulldog look, but, man. I like the decals. I know, but I like them. Those are like 60s decals. So, Harold, can you tell if this is a repaint, or is this something Wheel Horse put off original red? Because of the Look at they put the scene on backwards. Yeah, backwards. we were just talking about it. The rest can go. I've got yeah, this is definitely uh, because I know a lot of times you could tell when they repainted them, and you could tell the grind marks up here where they were trying to get rid of the logo. But there was ones that they supposedly ran off the line true. The wheel horses. Knock on wood, you don't ever find yellow paint underneath the wheel. Sometimes on the this mower there. Okay. I have yet to see any yellow red, paint on the wheel. Uh, I, I have I've yet to find ever oh. find any yellow paint underneath yeah. the track. Yeah, uh, George find yellow paint underneath the new ideas. Well, yeah. well yeah. these I've never, I've never seen yellow paint. Yeah. Those I know about, I, except I, for the moon. I haven't gone. Okay, I thought in 1973 when they were getting down to the run, 74 was the year that they swapped over. GE pulled all the mowers back. George said he had some paperwork. All the mowers back from the dealers that didn't pay. And then they ground off the engines and painted them to start the first beginnings of the wheel horse run, I thought. Well, they, from what we can tell, they did bring the punch back out and updated them to later. I can't believe it. Yep, right. But not, not wheel horses as far as we know. But see, I've seen wheel horses maybe they replaced the wheel horses. Which is beautiful. Uh, he couldn't keep the front tires. You know, I says, well, the front tires are 40 years old. You know? Oh, I know. Um, the rubber's all rotted by now. But um, yeah, and it's, it was great. And uh, I took it. I took it home. I got the three marine batteries. I threw it in. The thing fired right up. I took it. Right oh my God! He's picking out the. Water. Obviously, and I was cutting grass with it. But These then muscles are stored outside with all the wash. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't take too long. A couple of winters. Well, I think the guy. Let's see here. So we had some battery leakage here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. A couple of mine are that way too. I don't think we met yet. I'm George Beckett. Hey, George yeah. Beckett. I'm still working for GE yeah. for all these years. Still, still in uh, electric propulsion. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit more sophisticated. But, uh, well, you know what I wanted to ask you? When you were in surgery, did you ever meet an electrical engineer named Frank Tosi? The name sounds very familiar. He, he was, lived across at, the hall from me at RPI. I was at uh, Heavy Military in, in Syracuse. Was, it, was that where he was? Or I think it was Electronic Park. Electronic Park. Yeah. On the other side. Okay. But I didn't yeah. know the name. Right? Yeah. yeah. He was yeah. a pisser. He used to write all my lab things at RPI. The guy was brilliant. And he flung out the end of the first year. He wouldn't study. Wow. But he was. He also <laughs> he, was he, he produced. Study, he right? produced the first stereo system I ever heard. No kidding. Two needles on everything. Yep. He set up a clandestine radio station at RPI. <laughs> WSEX, the voice of RPI. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and he said, I said, George, I said, or, or, uh, Frank, I said, you got to be careful. The FCC will be looking for you, right? One day I'm looking out the window, and here comes the truck with the thing going on. I said, Frank, turn off the goddamn station. <laughs> he said, well, it doesn't go very far. So I take a transistor radio, I start walking from the dorms, I get to the field house, I can still hear it perfectly. He was broadcasting to all long. of Troy. Oh no. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Huh. But I, next time I saw him, he went back and got his degree. Okay. I saw him in, in the Syracuse airport, he was work, uh, working for Electronics yep, Park. Electronics yep. Park, yep. yep. They, were, they were going The guy was really brilliant, but he was a, actually a pitcher. His other great trick. He used to play the stereo pretty loud, mm -hmm. and his next door neighbor got P.O.'d one night. Someone got in his room and cut a bunch of the wires. So Frank doesn't get mad. He gets even. He goes up, he takes down <laughs> the goes. fire gong off the 87 gymnasium, puts it under this guy's bed. <laughs> Tells the rest of us, I'd get up at 3 o'clock tonight just for about 20 minutes. Why, Frank? He says, do what I ask you to do. The fire gong goes off at 3 a.m. This guy levitates out of the bed. He bounces off the walls, the ceiling. Nobody ever fooled with Frank again after that. He was a, 
He was a real piece of work, that guy. <laughs> oh my God. Why get mad? Get even. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> Are you local? Church? I know what my garage looks like. Really? Come 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 factory? Yeah. Did you try this first? Uh, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Did they try plates on the mower bracket like this first? Is this something they tried? No, that was later. They were later making it lift more evenly. So yeah. the plates are newer? Yeah, that probably is, yeah. It's a newer plate. Well, of course, that's a... See, that's a 12. That had the mid-motor mower, though, right? No, 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 no. 12M. Oh, 12M, that's right. That's right. Yeah, 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 you're right, yeah. But you okay. can go. That's a later 12. God. It's just amazing. Oh. Oh, okay. What do you think of that trailer? Hmm? Isn't that something? Well, that's about the size of the trailer for like a precess. But only two tractors, everything else was accessories. Yeah, we had My trailer, I can only have one at a time. I can only bring one home at a time. Yeah. Oh, that's good. And if I bring one home, I got to get rid of one. Yeah, what? Not a bad idea. I don't have enough room down there. Yeah, well. Oh, I was graduating. You got it. That's absolutely amazing. amazing. Mm. So electric cars are involved. Where are they now? Well, I was just talking to Bob King, who's still at the R at the R and D center. Is the tiny scrap mine? I tried so hard to get it out of there. I said, if you'll let me have it, I will maintain it, I'll restore it, and it'll always be available to GE. I'm just a lawyer inventing it. Nobody can make a goddamn decision. And finally, some later on, director or captain decided that he needed to lose this practice. You can't shame. Is it, uh, especially now, it'd be so much fun to show it side by side with the Chevrolet Bolt, yeah. with the same characteristics 43 years later. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> but now, yeah. but now, no, that's the 42. Well, I'm not sure there's a lot of good tractors here, but there's a lot of good spare parts. Well, depending on who fixes them. Yeah. I mean, the tractor, that 20 I have over there, looked worse than all of it. Really? Way worse. Wow. And I walked away from it. Brian, wow. Brian thought it looked okay, and he grabbed it. And I'll be down here. I heard he's going to restore it. I said, okay, when you're done, call me. Yeah, they did a beautiful job. God, your, your garden is really doing wonderfully. I can't get over it. Well, that's, that's Diana. She's, uh, wow. I built the boxes and put the dirt in there, but she did Wow, that's beautiful. Is, uh, have you had a lot of rain here too? We got tons yesterday. Did you? We got a lot of rain. All the rivers are running high. Of course, Lake Champlain overflowed. Uh, 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 so much rain up there. I got the GE large boat. Yeah, there was a guy, there was a dealer called McCurry. Greensboro? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that Lake Boat? What's Lake, uh, say I ride a computer. What do you want? Uh, yeah, I've, I've been up there. You know, yeah. Yeah. This yeah. is Just probably what drove Bill Wolf. What's that? Do you have a wife also? Uh, uh, wife also? Right. Yes. Uh, uh, some of these guys are <laughs> Okay, my, my <laughs> wife says, what are you doing? Uh, they jump. <laughs> and I only have Ford. <laughs> The joke is, no, there's a nice thing. They just don't have a clue. I've got that. Yeah. That's why I got it. I've been up there very often. I just sit there and watch what's going on. But that doesn't go too far anymore. Yeah. Always learning. Did you get you all hooked up? Well, we got we found the local. We got level wise down to one problem now left to fix. The contact we had in it doesn't want to dump enough juice when you put it when you start it out in reverse or you get enough. You hear it clicks, but you don't hear it start the motor. You go all the way full, and the motor starts, and then you slow it down. You hear it go down through. I got all started. <laughs> I have a 62 What's that? What did they say that goes? Contractor. Oh, in the... Yeah, in the, absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Yeah, so it's just a matter of changing the things down there. And then, with no reserve. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Hemming's book value fifty five thousand. I paid twenty six for it. He put it in a car in an auction, not the Barry Jackson auction, which is where you put those kind of cars. He put it in the cruise auction. That's all muscle cars. Right, right. So nobody, yeah, no really bidders. Cared about. Here's, here's his car. 
can even see it. But I mean, big, big headlights. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's a giant car. I mean, it's truly. Oh, I know they are. Yeah. It's truly giant thing. You know, the, the, where there's one of those, I've seen it out in, in L.A. in the what was the Merrill Norman Cosmetic uh, Company. Her son has an incredible museum out there. There's the a car the, museum. The 15 I have down in the basement. Oh yeah. The guy delivered it to me on a set of tr train tracks huh. with an electric locomotive, electric motor for his locomotive, and he put my tractor on a flatbed and brought it out to the road so I could put it on my trailer. Oh, neat. He's got tracks going all over his property. Huh. If, if you go on the electrac.com site and look under the unusual photos yeah. and unusual things, he, he's, he's on there. I'll be damned. <laughs> huh. he, he, yeah, he had it on a, a, a damn uh, trailer. Well, that's like the one I got the head of the postcards of in the mine, on the mine tours that you just take people through that, that mine yeah. out there. I forget where it was now, in the Midwest somewhere. But, uh, oh gosh. Mm. And, and we, he was the one that we, I shipped him a tractor and he adapted the forklift to it. God, I'll never remember the name probably though, but it was a small company. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure it was Woonsocket. I know it was Rhode Island. I'm pretty yeah. sure it was Woonsocket. Okay. But, uh, yeah, and they, that he didn't make regular forklifts. He made this kind that you use mainly we're moving tool and die work around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, uh, full room stackers. Yeah, but it worked well. It, it worked very well. Oh, it's great. I love mine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, all right. Uh, God, boy, you guys are. I know I don't have Alzheimer's. I can tell you that. <laughs> no, <laughs> coming back. <laughs> yeah. This is just the WD-40. You know, yeah, it's yeah. loosening it up. I in know. a couple yeah. weeks. I was telling my wife. Loose I was telling my wife. It means that my Heimlich, Heimlichman is not bothering me. She said, "You mean Alzheimer's?" I said, "No, I forgot that." <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like I said. Did you have, thirty years ago, thirty-five years ago, when you were designing all this? Did you ever thought it would end up like this? No, no, not in a dream. Mm. In fact, once once American Motors got it, I thought, well, that's the end of it. You know, it's never going to work after that. But uh, it, it took GE two years to close out the business uh, once they decided they'd do it. I know, that was sort of amazing to me yeah. that it took that long, and I didn't exactly know why. And I thought that Real Horse would take over the plant. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, the rent was 50 cents a square foot. I mean, how can you beat that? Yeah, yeah that's a giveaway. They probably yeah. wouldn't rent it to Real Horse at that. Well, it actually was owned by this guy that owned the, uh, Bev Pack, who owned the other half. He owned the whole building, and he used half of it for his, his uh, private label can beverage business, uh -huh. and he rented me the other half. So oh, so that, that didn't come out of uh, GE real estate? Oh, hell no. They wouldn't, oh, oh, Christ, they couldn't handle a building at that price. Ah! <laughs> they wouldn't, when, when they first found out of it, they said, well, how, how are you going to do that? Do you have an appropriation? I said, I don't need one for 50 cents a square foot. <laughs> you know, 250,000 square foot or 50 cents a square foot. No yeah, problem. Really. But, uh, yeah, I can't remember. He, but somebody said he sold out, I guess, to Adirondack Beverage. and got several million dollars for that business. But uh, he was a good guy. He was real good for us. But, uh, but all, all I had to do was pay 50 cents a square foot and cut the lawn. <laughs> yeah. Outdoor lawn was your test. Outdoor fire right? production. Huh? The, grass, the yeah. lawn was your test. Oh yeah, that's what we have. You got to get experience on the real thing. But no, oh, God, we had. Mm. So One of the you did cut the lawn with these electric tracks, right? Yeah. One of the great things was that when we came up with that resistance DC resistance welder, we sold a lot of them to farmers. Who, when their big equipment broke down, they drive out with the electric and weld it, well and fix it. I, I do welding with my electric. Do you? Yeah. Without any adapters or whatever, I just tap off 24 volts. Okay. Yeah. Well, we we made a 36 volt, uh, you know, uh, yeah. DC welder, just a little unit about yeah. about the size of a big lunchbox. Steve's got one down there. Now. Does he? Yeah. 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 But that was a great that was a great way to sell farmers on buying them because they can repair their other tractor with it without moving it. So it, uh, <clears throat> ever made an air, air compressor? Or? The uh, what was it? We did something with the. What the hell did we do with that? We had the big the big tank sprayer. I remember that. I'm trying to think of it. It seemed like we did something with an air compressor. 
But I don't remember that I had one then when I gave everything to Pistachio. I can't remember. Was was that bug sprayer ever made, the fogger? They, they, it was a big tank, about this big. It mounted on the back, plugged into the back of the tractor, and ran, uh, there was an electric motor on it that ran the pump. Yeah, that was the garden sprayer. Yeah. But there was also a, a fogger. Like what we used to call mosquito fire. Yeah, I'm trying to. Uh, There's one in the pictures, but I wondered. I always wondered if that thing ever got made. You know, God, I can't remember. I don't. I don't. There wasn't. A, I remember any big demand for it. Actually, well, the, DD2 the best fogger, band, the, band the best fogger you ever saw, was my my '51 Chevy convertible <laughs> in college. <laughs> and that, that remember it had a vacuum uh, rusher wiper. Oh sure. Yeah, and yeah. you took it off and plugged it into a, a jar of kerosene. It put out a fog, nothing could go through. I lost the cops one night with it. Really? They, their lights just kept fading out. I mean, you couldn't see a thing in that fog. All right. But this is a bunch of gizmos. Yeah. Chevy in the cloud of smoke. Yeah, but, but, but don't try it uh, with a higher compression ratio car. No, right. It just shuts the car right down. Yeah. Yeah. We tried it later with like a 10 to 1 compression uh, Chevy and it wouldn't work. <laughs> we're great with that eight to one though. <laughs> so the kerosene didn't get burned in the combustion chamber. Yeah, it just it just sprayed it out in a huge white fog, dense as hell. You couldn't see through it. Wow. So I got another question for you or two. <laughs> you must have had some agricultural knowledge during this whole thing. Well, my first house in Princeton was on a dairy farm, and I used to help the guy a lot. He was okay. incredible. He had a hundred acre dairy farm had about I think he had about a hundred I heard it was about a hundred and uh, he had oh god two years before I got there he lost half his arm in his corn husking machine oh, that fix it. so much better I know it and somehow dragged himself a hundred yards back to where his son was working took him to the hospital that of course had to take the arm off you ever see a man take a hay bale with a half an arm and flip it up 15 feet onto a hay wagon Oh, Man, I was lifting weights and I don't think I could do it. But well, we used to have guys that take 100 pound yeah, alfalfa like bales. One, yeah. two. Yeah. <laughs> One, two. two. Yeah. But, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I'll stand <laughs> behind them in a bar fight. Oh, there yeah. you go. <laughs> exactly who you want. But, uh, yeah. Well, what was the other thing? Well, the weight distribution, you handled pretty well, but. On even uh, on large equipment, they said 100 pounds of the horsepower is what you needed to make the best use of your horsepower. Yeah. yeah. And so you had that pretty well figured out. Well, I'll tell you that I got. I wish I knew what happened to the super torquer though. That thing. Oh God, that was just a phenomenon. There's, there's a guy. I know he works with the Boyer Town Auto Museum. Had a Electrac, one of the large frames. I'm not sure what model it was. But he also worked for a, his, his real job was he was repairing forklifts. Huh. He's got one that he can stand up on the rear wheels when he hit, when he gets on it. It doesn't have huge ag tires on it, does it, in the back? Uh, I, I can see the guy's face right now and I can't huh. think of his name. See, we have, well, we I know have, how to get in touch we, with We got him. these huge ag tires and then put, filled them with calcium chloride. They weighed 800 pounds a piece. This, this yeah. I think, was something. I, mean, I want to tell you, we outpulled. You know, we <laughs> outpulled five nitro methane powered gas tractors at the Big E with that, all hooked together, all five of them. Wow. No problem at all. It, <laughs> uh, well, you know, they, the gas people don't understand. The electric motor has infinite torque. It's stall. Yeah. yeah. You know? yeah. Right. But, as long as you uh, can feed it, it's pulling. So, as long as you can feed it, it's pulling. Oh, that's right, yeah. yeah. Of course, we took all the safety devices, all the circuit breakers off it. You know. yeah, well, you so, it. so how did it come about that you used American Bosch motors for the decks then? Oh, because they underpriced the GE motors by about 40%. Okay. Oh, I got flack on that one, too. <laughs> <laughs> when we changed... <laughs> what I tell you, George? Yeah, I told you. When we changed from the small mower motor to the fat one, yeah. that was a, a uh, what's the outfit, Bell something, uh, motor maker out in the Midwest. Yep. God, not Bell that Bell. Not Baldor, not Baldor, was it? Yeah, no, Baldor. Yeah, that's what it was, Baldor. Yeah. You know, and that was, again, a major cost saving and a better motor. Yeah. You know, I said to the GE guys, hey, 
listen, go ahead and match it. I'm glad to use GE parts, but I got to get my cost down. We average 15% a year cost reduction mm. for those four years. Wow. And, and, and that was all we had to do to get to really make a profit. Yeah. And uh, I didn't give a damn who made the things, you know. It, uh, of course, the rest of the GE guys didn't like that that much. <laughs> okay. Now I'm seeing the bigger picture a lot better. My, my, Not that he ever broke any rules. No. Yeah, no. Well, one of, one of my biggest uh, problems in GE when I was the uh, sales manager of insulating materials, we made this mica, laid up mica tape for the traction motors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I sold, you know, the majority of it I sold to Erie, to, uh, okay. But I also sold it through distributors. And the distributors complained that they couldn't compete with it because Erie's spare parts were charging a huge amount of money. So I gave the distributors a better deal, oh my God. I get it. a guy named Bo Villa was the general manager of, of the uh, uh, transportation locomotive engineering. I held the phone out to about here because it was going to take my head off. He was so goddamn mad. He said, "Your distributors are underpricing me on the market tape." I said, "How much are you marking it up, Mr. Villa?" He said, "About six to one." Mm. I said, "Well, you don't deserve it." And, and oh God, we had to go, go through it. <laughs> And they always gave me a bad time because insulating materials had too much of their sales to GE departments rather than to the open market. So my job as you know, sales manager was to develop the open market to help with the GE accounts. You know, mm. but, oh God, that was an always funny one. But oh, yeah. The, uh, well, that's, I was telling George about this great thing with when I appointed Chick Gruber as engineering manager. Oh, I got a hue and cry out of Schenectady. He has no college degree. You can't make him an engineering manager. I said, well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to have Chick take the New York State Professional Engineers exam. And if he passes it, then I want every other GE manager, engineering <laughs> manager, and say, take it. Chick passed it. They all refused. <laughs> no more argument. Now, he's a registered professional engineer. Who the hell are these other guys? Right. You know, but, you know, it's... Uh, That's that's not an easy exam either. Oh, I know it. I've been there. Been but, there, done that. I, I, I did it. Did it? Yeah. yeah but, uh, no, that was one of the. I argued that whole thing in front of the G executive committee. All these disconnected guys, oh, you can't do that. I said, wait a minute. The degree is where you start, it's not where you finish. You know, it, uh, who were there? was one of the top semiconductor guys out there, PhD, a little guy who got to, I think he. he I'm not sure whether he not got Adler, a... Not, not Adler, Dr. Adler, was it? You know, in, in, no, no he, he I don't later, think I so. But uh, I'll tell you, Chick did most of his work. I mean, he, he shouldn't have got the patent. Chick should have got him. I mean, he, he, he would do them in theory, and Chick would make them work. Mm -hmm. a, a little more important. <laughs> you want something to drink? Ginger ale? Or oh, I had a couple of beers. I'm good. You sure? Yeah, water? thank you. You want some water? I might go back and get in the shade though, getting warm yeah, out there. Yeah, the sun came but, out. Uh, yeah. That's a new old stock E20. The yeah. welder, yeah. Oh, the inverter. Yeah, and that's oh. a new old stock E15. Yeah. Great, great. There's a canopy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Double, yeah. double seat. <laughs> oh, boy, you really did. Well, I got lucky. I got, You've I got done met, good. I met some, <laughs> some people wow. that were pretty wow. good. Well, there's a rototiller that needs a little work. Yeah, yeah. Nice to cool down here. I should have brought you down it's here. Beautiful before. down here, yeah. yeah it's it's right in the summer, a little cool in the winter. Though. You've got a great collection. Yeah. Here's the 15. Okay. I love the setting there. Yeah. Yeah. Works in progress. Hey, that's the original cast iron axle we got rid of. That's an old one. <laughs> well, all of them have a set of 12 are cast. But, gee, I thought we got rid of that before then. But, uh, just anywhere in there, you know. Okay. <laughs> you get <laughs> Steve, what's this motor do? That's an E20. Isn't it's it? a new old stock E20. That's so much bigger than other E20s I've seen. And there's a Is this an electric? Yep. Yeah. Well, I, 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 I
that's for sure. Because yeah. we changed over that, that steel, actually. Yeah. Well, got a nice blade here. That one yeah, I never I used. Stored, yeah, I, well, I restored it and I'll probably never use it. Huh. <laughs> mm. well, you got to have that in there. Well, you got a great collection. Oh, well, well, that's, that's why you need ten of each. That's why you have some. I, I have four blades. <laughs> that's why you have some to show and some to play with. Wow. Old rototiller there. Yeah. 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 That needs some work. Yeah, I gave yeah. one of those for stash. It was in better shape than that. That's going to be certain. I got the motor in the shop. So yeah. Hopefully we'll get that back in my next summer. That'd be good for your wife's yeah. garden. Yeah, yeah, part of it. Yeah. You couldn't do it in the boxes. Yeah, it'd be hard to get out yeah. of yeah. yeah. I got to tell you, those things are unstoppable. They are really oh. unstoppable. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. What is the same company that John Deere used though for? They were the Brindley's. Yeah. 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 It's the same exact one except that they designed to put the electric motor on it. John Deere ran them with belts too on the 110s and the 112s. Ah, he, okay. he, he was good enough to part with it. Well, good. Yep. I don't know what okay. I'll do with it, but I figured. Uh, no, you got it well. Yeah. I'll let it. You even got the little. Uh, yeah, little, well, I'll let it pull the dust yeah. here. I use mine all the time. God, I, well, I used to weld for a living, and I haven't oh, even did yeah. to start that up at all. Do you remember they put these together? The, the these ones for the electric had the yellow cords because yeah. they were 36 uh, volts. Yeah. yeah. You remember that? Yeah. Yeah, you know, I do remember we had that so, the multi-use tool. Yeah. yeah. So that drill yeah. head is that's right. 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 Five. right. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. These I are that. like yeah. the ones with the headlight. Yep. Yeah. Well, and, and found the case. And yeah. Were, were these like these were black and yeah. Decker, weren't yeah. they? Yeah. 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 Is that who we had made those for us? Got case. I thought they were black and Decker. Probably. Uh, original. Yeah. Chucky. Chucky. Yeah. Handle. Original handle in there. Geez, you got to be careful when Georgia gets in here. You better watch it. I'm watching it. Yeah. His pockets. I got a, I got a, I got a light <laughs> right on the end. Everything gets out of here, it beeps. <laughs> oh, God. And then two big These guys got to catch up to me. You don't tackle. understand. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, my God. He doesn't have stuff. He doesn't need any of mine. Well. <laughs> Just amazing. Good I just got one of these. Yeah, there's a few out there. You've got a couple oh, yeah. prizes yourself. Yeah, I'll tell you, I use one of those chainsaws eBay. a lot. In my really? place. Yeah. But, uh, <coughs> yeah, they're hard to tear down too. Yeah, they're good movers. Oh. So guys, nice meeting you. You know what did it? That's what you say. Hey, email me. Yeah, remember, I'm going to help you with that, the carburetor. Of all this and send it to Thank you. With. Okay. Yeah, well, let me I'd get one right, right now. Take care. I'll get yeah. one right now. You can just stay where you are. Oh, okay. Here we go. Camera. Photo. Oh. Photo op. Yeah. Boss in the shop. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. All right. Good. 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 Mm. <laughs> well, you guys totally amazed me. This is incredible. This place, every time it would rain, it would it flooded in here. That's why I built all these shelves, oh, oh, up yeah. all those racks, get it off. Oh my God! Yeah. I saw cut this trench in here and then put oh. it by hand, put mortar in there so it would drain. I was down in here with my level, trying to get it all you know level so it would drain out. It oh, still gets a, a little wet. It's a great facility you got down yeah. yeah. Insulated oh, ceiling. No, was that was the like the 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 used to be the firehouse. Yeah. 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 It used to be a fire truck that parked up there. They even had a backhoe they parked up there. Is that right? right? Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. 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 Did you do the whole restoration? No. The whole thing was all prototypes. It was very neat. I just hope the surface is up something. If it's ground hard, you can have your tractor in burst. And that thing is making a push forward. Thank you. It is a beast. I, I have one, but I haven't used it yet. Uh, Not that tear the tractor. It sure makes part? powder of the dirt. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. What about rocks? It, Every now and then you get a rock hung in it, and you have to flip it off. Yeah. You know, pull the rock out of it. <laughs> it almost seems like I think mine was extended because. Well, it has it size. Seems, it seems like it because in order that it would uh, go over the tire track. I think if it's down in the middle, it fits. So for some reason, yeah. it seems well, to be you can, you, can, you can slide it one side or the other. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. Okay. The mount on it, yeah. you can yeah. pull it over one side. Okay. Well, I don't know if you can slide it both sides, but you can definitely Because it was out. on a tractor when I got it. Yeah, you can but definitely slide it But then I never put it on my tractor. 
Oh. Hmm. Neat. Most of them you find don't have the sides left on them, but they did have sides on them. Yeah, I think one does. But they are yeah. beasts. Yeah, okay. <coughs> They may do some 240 volts. Really? Yeah. It's a little motor generator, I guess. Isn't it? Yeah. They made them 110 and 240. Is this a permanent magnet motor? Thing? Or is that to shut? I think you said it's an yes. R10 motor or something. R10. I have a permanent magnet, but I think it's a little bit smaller down there and maybe a yeah, little bit longer, I think. I think that's, a, that's like an E20 motor. Yeah, it is an E20 motor. Okay. in popular science, popular mechanics. You know, we were the talk about the industry. 20,000. Orders for 20,000. 20,000. And we could only fill a thousand of them. You know, it was a shame. And uh, and somehow, well, the last year, in 70, 74, we built 25,000 of them. So it, uh, and that's when I was in Chipper. Yeah. But we were also taking a lot back. Well, well yeah, and so it wasn't well, much. Thing's full of money at once. I checked your uh, website, by the way, George. I found it. might or might not be. Oh. You've had it for a while. <laughs> George, in April of 74, I won the Dustpan and Broom Award. Yes. Yeah. Dustpan Housekeeper. <laughs> My area that needs the most, I said, oh, God. I like that. I've gone through this all the time. Boy, this is like humiliate the worker. Yeah. <laughs> Game. No, oh, that. Oh, we were taking it. I came in one day. This is when the tractor had to come back. We had to come back. Yeah. Okay. Trucks. 7.15 in the morning. Maybe 7.20. The trucks were lined up down over the railroad tracks, oh, around the corner where the 90 degree oh. corner is coming in. I think it was something like 18 or 19 degrees. Yeah. On load, yeah. with tractors on them. Yeah. And then oh, I went to dust pan room. Then I get here. the dust pan room where I, I really thought that was a little extreme. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah we were over the, uh, I was kind of busy back then. I had trouble getting it to fit and the guy that gave it to me. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He could run quick, but he couldn't run fast enough. I had trouble yeah. making it fit, but it's it. You, you just wanted to put it where the sun doesn't shine, right? I, I got it. No, I caught him. He, he couldn't run fast that. with me. Yeah. I was going a quick water back. Jesus. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, well, that goes in the book. <laughs> no, I didn't catch him. He wanted it. He was like, yeah, you know, you got to be kidding me. That's going to be a funny-looking x-ray. <laughs> you know, I took George by the plant this morning there. Of course, it's now that whole industrial park is busy as hell over there. You want to know? You want to know how life works? These little what do they call them? Conundrums or whatever they call. Yeah. It comes around to other circles. Yeah, what goes wrong comes around. Yeah. Our building. My best friend who I went out to dinner with last night. Him and his wife. He was the general manager of the last place that was just there. The next year. Oh really? He was the general manager, Hotel Black. Oh for heaven's AFG. sake. He was in the same exact building we were in. Oh my god damn. Well that was owned by the Bedpack guy. Yeah. The uh, guy that bottled private label soda and stuff. Somebody said he sold out later the Adirondack beverage for, for several million bucks. So good has, for him. He has a camp while well, he had he built he, he built house. <laughs> about miles downstream or upstream of our camp. Ah. Oh, paper too, I think. That there was a wholesale paper out there. I'm pretty sure he owned that too. Uh, but, uh, you know, he was a good guy. He was just easy to work with. When I told him, I said, no, I'm going to have to pay him this rent to stay here, so I'll have to take an appropriation. <laughs> He said, that's not a problem. He said, I know you're good for it. Well, well, I've seen a number of parts going on here, so somebody's buying stuff. Yeah, yeah. He's trading over there, that's for sure. Yep, that track over there is a nice shape. See that one? Bruce, uh, the What's 820? The? Oh, yeah, yeah. Beautiful restoration nice. job. Yeah. Steve did, had it done. Yeah, that's great. Oh, that's Steve's? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, Brian did the restoration on the uh, on the tractor, and Steve did the deck. Yeah. Who, who's forklift is that that was here? That forklift, um, Jeff got that forklift in the deal, and he got it repaired and running again, and he sold it to uh, uh, 
small Ohio. Oh. That big of a can. Oh, they brought that in from Ohio? No, it was it was actually around here. Oh. And the guy from Ohio was picking it up. But the, um, yeah, it was funny on we had this little club site, you know, the club uh, electric owners thing. And Jeff says, uh, yeah, here's here's what I got. He got the a forklift and the, the I five and a couple other tractors, you know. And uh, he said on there that, uh, he said, um, my wife thinks we ought to keep it, but um, I, but we really don't have room for it, so I'm going to fix it up and, and get rid of it. And uh, within an hour, some other guy po posted and says, how much do you want for your wife? <laughs> <laughs> that was a gutsy, gutsy post. I don't think I would have gone that far. Uh, no. <laughs> And then wrong. she said, then it goes, well, it gets it gets better because she thinks we ought to build a barn in the back to keep all your truck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. What, one of the earliest jokes on the internet in one of these dating services is the guy sends a thing he sends it, his picture in the, and the woman uh, writes back and, and sends, yeah, like, I'm interested. And I have a new Jeep Wrangler, and he says, send pictures of the Jeep. <laughs> oh, God, what a terrible. Yeah, nice day for this. Wow. Yeah, it's a little warm in the sun right pretty now. serious. He's got the yeah. tent things and everything else. Sure. Well, okay. I would have never guessed this in a million years. You know, there are literally thousands of them out there. Well, there should be, I guess. There's a they don't be where i you know. Oh, yeah. There's a guy did um, who did a geocoding of them, and uh, it, it's, I would guess that there's probably a quarter of the of the tractors that he had, but he put them on there and put a dots on the United States of where everybody, all these tractors are. Oh, really? Are. So you can go out there and say, okay, well, up really? In, up here in Paulding, uh, Ohio, you know. Has he got this on the internet or what? Yeah, yeah, I'll send you one. Oh, God, yeah, I'd love to see it. Yeah, it's, it's a little outdated, and i got to tell you, it's probably a quarter of the tractors that are really out there. Because I know a lot of them that aren't even on there. Now, you, is that your sign-up sheet that's over there? Or is that, no, I don't know. There's a sign-up sheet. Oh, okay. I thought you were collecting the email address. Oh, all right. right. Okay, yep, I signed in. Oh, boy. That's just this is incredible. Mm. Yeah, so we had reunions anyway. Well, I can't remember. Like I said, it was two or three. At least two. Uh, I think I, it was, it was you know, I started out in G in insulating materials. And uh, we had a reunion up at uh, Canoe Ireland Lodge at Lake George a number of years ago. And by God, somebody had two of the original products that I invented up there for community cable, power cable. Really? And they, somebody had kept the boxes with them. I was amazed. I hadn't thought about that in years. And that's probably how I got the job in new business development because of what I'd done in the materials. But, uh, huh. yeah. Yeah, I never, I never thought of my motorcycle being electric yellow, but it is. Boy, it sure is. It sure is when you look at that tractor and that right I think that's the best looking motorcycle I've ever seen. That's a beautiful thing. Now, how long have you had it? A couple months. Too. Only a couple months? Oh, did you have yeah. one before or not? Yeah, that? I had a Kawasaki. Oh, you did? It's, uh, got all the bags and like that. But Kawasaki, it was nice. Huh. I got, you know, I started getting up there, mileage and needed, I put five or six hundred in it, needed another thousand or twelve hundred. So you've driven them a lot, though, huh? Yeah, wow, wow. the other one. Wow. It's not used up, but I sold it. I, gave, I got a good buy on it and I bought this. Wow. No, I think the gold works out. Why anybody wants one of those noisy Harleys beyond me, I don't understand. Uh, you know, it's like you hear, I was following a guy down uh, on the secondary road. He was a Harley. It was a hill, okay, it's a hill like this, so it's not a little ding. Yeah. Like this is a hill. That thing's bellow, bellow. I can't hear my radio. Turn the radio off. Bellow, boom, 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 boom. I'm saying, yo, why do you want to hear that? I mean, doesn't that hurt going your up? head? Yeah. I mean, you're telling me so that it's going what? up a freaking hill and you got to listen to that. Jesus, I couldn't stand it. I can, no. I cannot believe. It's one of the problems we got. There's a lot, a lot of these clubs are coming over to Bennington now. You know, and they all go up to see the monument right by my house and making all that goddamn noise. You well, know? you know, the cops, there's a, 
A lot of states have noise over there. I wish the hell we got to do that in Bennington. It's getting to be a real problem. You need to run off. I, yeah. I live on a lake. Like I'm sure. The road's in front of my house. Oh, really? Right. Uh, you know, my, my, uh, you have my all these guys' names and everything, and everything so all Mondo these people's names and everything? And my first uh, yeah, well, most of these guys, guys are all on the, uh, on the club site. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then the the architect so, so. And on your website, too? Um, God, well, back then, about a couple years ago, I could park on the street. There's a couple links from the office. I work in that city all day long. Well, I got lost in the news. I drive a truck. I started reading them and saying, oh, geez, these are interesting. Oh, really? Well, I'm in the city all the time. Yeah. I got one in the back of the truck. Westchester, Dale's from there. The Dale's Brett's in the south. Yeah. I'm in the middle of the city. You like that? You remember what John Lawrence had to do with the truck shop? I had one more one last year that I know that I had to do with the truck shop. John Lawrence was an engineer with a large motor generator. Oh. And depending on whether he was bullshitting me or not, he had about 200 of them. 200 of them? Mm -hmm. What? Like that? Electric. Oh, exactly. Right? He died a while back because I remember seeing on the internet that his son was selling the stuff off. Oh my god, really? Because I bought parts from him yeah. years ago. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Well, I don't know that name. Yeah, I remember the name, but I, I don't know how you got 200 tracks. That's a big one. He was a Schenectady so engineer. So he might have been, oh, yeah. been a little yeah. exaggeration. No, uh, I did. But then again, he might have been right. Uh, yeah. 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 Right. It was either an 8 or a 10. I can't even remember what it was. We sold a hell of a lot of them. There were a lot of them. And we ran it. I gave away a lot of them. The senior executive. Years. Years. And then I think we replaced the batteries. I remember that one. I think we had to replace the batteries once. The Cleveland. And then things started really going. Yeah. And that was parked out back. <laughs> I needed a handyman. I think Philadelphia had one. I was too. Yeah. 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 But uh, yeah. and I'm handy. <laughs> Don't know whatever happened to that one. I used to have a big Dodge Stretch van that I could get two tractors in. But I used to. For nothing but to deliver them to G executives all over the Northeast. Oh, okay. And they always wanted me to come and bring them. Hey, you know what? I guess I did. And, 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 I, and I guarantee you they never took care of them. I either had, sure yeah, I had the 12. Oh, hey, great to see you. Thanks. Good. When I had Ridge Road, that's right, because uh, I had that, and my neighbor had a John uh, Deere. Oh, well, John was selling parts. You know, like the Harley and the Honda guys. You don't need all that noise. You don't need all that noise. Oh, you got to let somebody let some moving see, living room. Yeah, that's right. It's very comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, it's that deal, right? About so yeah. this guy is busting the Seven years. I was totally out of touch with Bring it up. Two houses Two houses down. Two houses but bring that thing New Jersey, up. We're going to hook them. We're going to hook them. Well, I'm just going to. Yeah, the only thing I can't do is gas it. Thank you. Well, give me a call anytime you want. All right. Other than that, you're all good. I was a driver. 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 I and then he started going back there. He was. <laughs> three, maybe yeah. four, I think three times. Uh, he wouldn't go number four. Well, I, yeah, I am. We just had to look in the motor. You know, I, I, I just sort of forgot about it, it for 12. years and, and then, until Chris um, Dash Okay, let's do it again. And then all of a sudden I said, says, well, no, you can't get the gas and pop the clutch. Oh, that's what it was. The later model, we tried number four. He did the old and pop the clutch and he got me. Oh, it's not that bad. But other well, than that, good could, ideas for improvement and it was a 12 yeah. against, I, against I, I his uh, 15 or 16 horse. I can't tell you how many guys have, around the country have hmm. taken an attractive horse, right? And they won't let them come back the next year. Yeah. They went because of the torque. Yeah, yeah. Torque. Uh, yeah. they had a 20. The uh, thing on my website is sort of like that had a 20 pulled uh, over 1,600 pounds with that thing. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I yeah, just up in Michigan. Dead, dead, weight, dead weight, Paul? Yeah. yeah. George, I think what you need to do is to build a new super torker. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. You know, super what? what? We built, I don't remember, but I built one for the Big E Exposition in Springfield. We call super. it the super torker. It had huge ad tires on the back filled with calcium, calcium chloride. They weighed 800 pounds a piece. We had to put them on with a crane. <laughs> and we took it over there and we wiped out everything. I mean, we finally I said, 
Okay, you take those five gasoline crackers <laughs> burning nitromethane and hook them all onto the back of the super turker. We no, no problem. Just tell them. I had, we had a 12. Ah. I had a 12 and my neighbor was always real real because the yeah. 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 with a John Deere. I brought up, I was either <laughs> one truck or Oh, that's no competition at all. And I said, you can't pop the clutch. The only thing I say is yeah. you can't give the gas and pop it. Yeah. I said, you got to start out same as I do. Three times, no problem. I just, the best he did is hold me steady and then oh, yeah. the fourth time he gives it the old gas, pops the clutch, and of course my circuit breaker went boom. <laughs> oh, well, I was one thing I said with the super torque, we took off all the circuit breakers, well, all yeah, the safety yeah, devices. One, uh, yeah. I mean, it was a, it was a bomb. I mean, rip. I wish I knew what the hell happened. Until the, the guy went through the fence. <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah, one of the things I was telling the story, we had this booth, outdoor booth with a tent at the Big E. And uh, all the booths like that were had split rail fences around them. Mm -hmm. So one of our dealers came in, and I wasn't there at the time, and he got one of the young marketing guys, he said, let me drive that, will you let me drive it? Okay, the guy didn't tell him that it had no safety devices, it had nothing. Guy gets on it, he starts it going, and he's jumping up saying, whoa, whoa, and he mows down five fences in a row. <laughs> Other people <laughs> boots. I mean, they go, oh, God, that was, that was hilarious. Oh, that. Didn't hurt the tractor at all. Couldn't <laughs> <laughs> find It sure made an impression that we sold a lot of tractors in Massachusetts after that. But well, we also, we wiped out everybody there in the full contest. It was an absolutely no contest, you know. Oh, that was the Big E in Western Mass. Yeah, so yeah. It goes on. Yeah, yeah. Was demo. yeah. yeah. Okay. And that, that thing, you could not stop that tractor with, with those great big ag tires mm -hmm. and with 800 pounds a piece of down there. You could, and we didn't, the pressure in them was only about 15 pounds. Because, you know, we didn't want to blow them up with all that goddamn calcium chloride. Mm -hmm. But it made them even better. The tractor, the footprint. It was yeah, like that, you know. Right. Better not so, yeah. yeah, it was incredible. But, God, and that was on the standard transmission with a standard motor? Standard motor, standard, tra each one. Each standard transmission, standard motor, no safety devices, no circuit breakers. We had a massive... Big wire, big wire. Uh, yeah, we had a massive contactor on it. About four times the size of the regular track. Yeah. And, uh, man, I'll tell you, when that thing, when you shifted that into... And, and hit the, the, the control, it would mow down anything. I mean, it was just incredible. Did you have to have like cool down periods in between? Yeah. Well, no, we, uh, I mean, the contest never lasted long. Uh, you sure. know, we wiped them out within 20 seconds. I mean, you know, <laughs> didn't have to worry. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a problem. But I, I would just love to know what happened to that one guy. Yeah, uh, yeah. And it wasn't easy to load it because it weighed so damn much, mm -hmm. and you had to really be careful to not tip it over backwards. We did have a snubber on the back, oh, yeah, you know, so yeah. you yeah, so yeah. you couldn't because otherwise I was afraid we could just tip it right over backwards, you know, because mm -hmm. it had so much torque. It was just incredible. Well, somebody took that home. That's what I wonder. Were the tires 800 between them or 800 each? 800 each. Oh my! Wow. Yeah. So yeah. three times. Holy the K, Christmas! It was incredible. Wow. I think the only way we could mount them, the we had a small crane. <laughs> no, no. As a matter of fact, we didn't use the forklift. That's why I remember that now. We lifted them up with the forklift to get them in place so we could put the one, yeah, tighten the lug nuts. Mm -hmm. But uh, now, God, that was a that was a real blast. <laughs> that's, uh, that's but, you know, I, almost everything we did like that was a lot of fun. I mean, we just had it. And it was great. I mean, the dealers loved it. I mean, you know, they that and, and they loved the welder because they could sell it to the farmers yep. to repair their tractor in the field. The welder was a yeah. That welder, that was a terrific. Hmm. Uh, Randy, I'm here today for welders. Yeah, there's yeah there's, he's there's got one, one downstairs there. I saw one on uh, over here on one of the maybe Zimmerman had yeah, one. Yeah, Zimmerman had one. Zimmerman had one. Yeah, yeah. All it was is a bunch of DC resistors. That's all you needed. You just like doubled up the band you used yeah. in the yeah. tractor. Right? Yeah, yeah. It was a simple thing to make. Almost hard to believe that. Okay. Yeah, that plant put together and operated even during the strike. Yeah. I got a lot of people across the picket line actually. And uh because I just told them I said, hey, 
You make up your own mind, but if we don't get these things out, out of the market, you aren't going to have a job. Simple as that. <laughs> mm. I'd say we got about half of the, the hourly employees came in. Well, you were remote, too. Right? Well, yeah, we were, we were over there in, yep. in Scotia. Yeah, you, weren't, you weren't in the main plant. No, and they didn't come and pick at us hard or anything, so it wasn't bad. So. Mm. I was down at the main plant. Oh, yeah. My, yeah. my first job on, off, uh, on manufacturing management program. I started during the strike. Yeah, oh, did I was, you? Oh, boy. I was working on the floor, and then they said, go out and challenge the line. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. What the hell did I know? Yeah. I'm driving yeah. through and these guys, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I could I could get into this shit. Yeah. <laughs> Give me more. <laughs> I uh you went through the MM well, the MMP program. MMP. Yeah. yeah. My brother was in that. Yeah. I'm trying to remember what year and I can't tell you. Oh, boy. Oh, a good program. I think G E was G E. Uh, I was back in the days when the engineers showed up with, in their three-piece suits and carrying their briefcase. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what they were doing with the guys out in the field was, was horrendous. Yeah. I, like those, I like those pictures we had of the engineers in the lab coats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a technician. Yep. Put a lab coat on and you have instant credibility. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> hmm. Well, they did that to us too in the uh, ICES for the calibration shop. Oh, is that right? Yeah, we got to we got to put on lab coats. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And the joke of it was, we didn't have them in my shop, so they brought them down from the other oh, uh, in New Jersey mm -hmm. shop. <laughs> and and there. Yeah. Well, they didn't okay. have our names. Oh, well, here. Uh, here. Or, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Doing show and tell with right. So were you in Scotia or were you in the Wayne's No, Scotia or Scotia. Okay. I'm not just being with you in Wayne's Road. Nobody knows who the hell we are. I used to live about an hour east of Albany. Oh, okay. Okay. Not down in Germany. I think we're going to have to send you some decals for the bike. Yeah, yeah, I'll get those electric decals all smeared on there. Yeah. yeah. What's that worth? Mm -hmm. Now that's one of the call well, you, you had an experimental right? ATV, right? Oh, yeah. Six mm -hmm. tires. It was great in the water. It was terrific. <laughs> and in the swamp. I'd like to see pictures of that. That would be fun. Oh, God, that, I, that's know, I, don't, I don't think I kept electric. any pictures of that. It looked like a, a big bathtub. <laughs> and it had, uh, uh, and it had, it had like these fat, soft tires that were about that diameter and about that wide, oh, wow. three on each side. And it would no, it was really great. And, it, and it, you know, again, it wouldn't have run forever, but it, for if you if you took it out in the water, it ran great because there's very little resistance. You know, yeah. they were they ag design tires, so they were great in the water. Oh, okay. They propelled it quite well. I'm trying to think of whose <laughs> whose equipment that was that I bought. Uh, yeah, I used that, so we took it to See you later. Easy. See ya. But, yeah. Well, Jordan, I think we probably ought to be heading back. I'll call my, my uh, ex-wife and tell her I'm coming. Mike, where are you from? Fair enough. I'm from Belmar, New Jersey. I'm going to start Belmar. Thank you. That's packing up for us. He's working at the Flight Flight Plant. Oh, oh, you know one of the guys from the Yep. Oh, man. Yeah. I, I thought there'd be more workers Why there. Uh, there probably was earlier. Yeah, I couldn't make it. Yeah, there I were earlier. I didn't call me yesterday, and I had to. I didn't see it. I had a rental property. I had to get ready for my new tenants coming in today. Yeah. You live up at the lake? Yeah. No. Yeah, my, I got my house and I live on the water and I wanted to control the lot. You know, the, Good idea. The water. Ha! <laughs> my other neighbor's selling. I wanted to buy that. My wife was harping on me not to. And then the no like crap in your bag. So that's you always my big dream. Buy the properties around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So Protect yourself. Control, control the neighborhood. Everything. Exactly. Yeah. Nothing like controlling the neighborhood. Nothing like controlling the neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah, that's the only problem, you gotta have the cash flow to do such things. You gotta have what? You gotta have the cash flow to do such things. Oh, it takes money? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's that one Nobody small told little, me that. Yeah, there's oh, that God. one little variable that. Well, maybe that's why my wife don't want me to keep yeah, doing it. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, you may want to check with your CFO there before you do anything. Is this the end of this powwow?
Basic compilers, yeah. Uh, then there's some plotted things here. Some of this was sales information. Um, like here's retail sales of 15, and you can see where it, it dips at Christmas time, mm -hmm. in the first and fourth quarter, and then pops back up again. But that's not a good trend when you're doing this in '71 and '72 mm -hmm. and then yeah. '73 again. <laughs> so. So I'm still digging through what all these things are. But they have things broke on by paint production. <laughs> What's this? What's this? Oh, yeah. It, yeah. You tell me. Yeah, these, these columns are all the same. That could be that could have been a this could have been their baseline and um, and if they went over or under that could have been the target. You know, let me at least buy something from your lift. What did we get? Strap. Okay, is that what I have on there? I did. Yep, it says I made them cheaper for the day. Special. Special. <laughs> Anything Thank to you. pay for the Thank gas. You. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you uh, commit some... Um... No, wait a minute. Can I have that? <laughs> Let me think. No. <laughs> oh, it took man. a long time. I'll get you copies. <laughs> yeah, well, didn't you commit some Mr. Oh, Meister? No. Alice Flynn. You met him? Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna try. He's gonna try a scan first. You didn't. Yeah, you didn't get him to lend your his photo to you. <laughs> I didn't try it. I didn't. <laughs> 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 <